Lower the DC. <laughs> 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 hey. <laughs> Listen, I never said I couldn't be bribed. It has worked. It has worked. <laughs> <laughs> From experience. <laughs> wait, 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 No! Hold on. What do you want? What, what do you want? You want to smell good? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the deal one and I'll make it happen. Give me the what? Deal. The de oh, I don't have it on me. Ah! <laughs> you want a Tic Tac? Yes. Will that work? <laughs> we'll take a Tic Tac. Will it work? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so you travel into the damn. Uh, <laughs> damn, damn, damn! damn. damn. Well, you went into a dam. I don't know how to dam here. Oh my god, like where's hydroelectric the dam? or beaver. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it's a beaver dam. I want to go pet a beaver. <laughs> He's gonna <laughs> pull us. <laughs> no, please, episode for us today. I'm not gonna describe which kind of dam it is. It's a dam. Dam is dam. But there it's is not. a dam. Hello, dear friend. Welcome back. Our protagonists set off from the town of Nasal and continue the quest to stop Ambrister Curie from destroying the biosphere. They head northwards, through rocky, rolling hills and through dense, green forests. Along the way, they will encounter many a foe and even potential friends. Now let's carry on with our story, shall we? Welcome back to Fragments of a Lost Home, everybody. Session 37, we are just about to leave the town of Nasal, leaving behind the Ironwood Watchers and the last protector, Nakoa. Um, so last session, you guys had all leveled up to level six, having your own unique and individual encounters with different entities and things, or having just a rather interesting nightmare. Um, so, you guys are, I think, currently discussing leaving and moving forward, uh, which I believe, um, Eve, your little uh, vesiculum compass kind of told you that your next vesiculum piece is directly north of you guys um, and heading towards o Ocelia. That is the like general direction as you would need to go. Um, although I don't think any of you have a map of Skaven, so you don't really know what lies ahead of you. Yeah. Uh, Eve is a living map. That's fair. Eve is the compass. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do we know what's the right thing ahead of us? No. No. So. This um, entire time, no. <laughs> with that, you guys are still, I believe, in the feasting hall of Nasal in the like inner sanctum by like the the last ironwood. It's all my so. apple figure stolen from me. <laughs> <laughs> my I forgot yours. about that. It was mine. <laughs> it wasn't yours. It was mine. For when you stole it and then you tried to give it to me. At no point was it yours. Because you were sad. <laughs> the case of the apple fritter. <laughs> Because okay. you were sad and you like apples, and I wanted to get you a sweet, so I just I don't know, apple fritter. And you're still the only one in existence. <laughs> no, that Truth. was the jelly donut. There was also that. <laughs> All right, I'm so. I'm really good at finding my sweets, apparently. What would you guys like to do as you are sitting down in the feasting hall, talking amongst each other's, kind of getting geared up, ready to go? What we doing? So. Does anyone know what lies ahead? No, no. I just I said no. What? God just said no. The God of God. You spoke to God? Which one? Him. Us. <laughs> the creator. The one. Um, anyway. You know what? Just stating the fact that we don't know where we're going besides the vague direction of north. Does... Um, would at any point for Ambrose's workshop would we have gone over in this direction or no? Hmm. Like Maybe roll for Ambrose work. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ambrose. Never work. know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I I do know. work. Ambrose has done work. Bye. However, Ambrose would have done work. Closely around a mannesis, not okay. too much outward of that. Okay. Um, any other work he would have done would have been toward uh, Tradorn or Sorcel, uh, south of a so okay. 
closer towards FRS, and so That's understandable. heading anywhere north of Anamnesis would kind of be uncharted territory for Ambrose specifically. Okay. Is there like a general store <laughs> or a cartographer or something around here? We can buy a map. Sure, roll an investigation check. Helps to have. Oh yeah, it is tiny. Oh, I forgot that I don't have to do any math. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, traveling through Nasal, the, the few days that you've been here, um, you would have known that there is a general store around here, like or an adventure store, um, and there is also like. Um, I wouldn't say there was a cartographer. You have a choice of like a general store or like an actual adventurer's store. You just go to an adventurer's store. I feel like they would have maps like in a cartographer would. Yeah, absolutely. So um, heading out of the inner sanctum and going to this adventurer's store, um, you would find just a, a smaller shop, but it's kind of like this cluttered mess of just miscellaneous items here and there, just scattered about. And as you're like walking in, uh, you go to this one corner of the room where there's kind of like cobwebs like overtaking this corner. And just in this small crate are these like scrolls of just maps. And you have like a little hanging sign that's kind of like, looks all kind of broken and just decaying, just says maps. The blue maps. And I'll start pawing through to see what regional maps I can find. Mm -hmm. So um, you definitely find like a regional map of like Mahela. There's a regional map of like the city states in Anamnesis. Um, then you would also find like the continental map of Skaithen in here, kind of like a rough parchment uh, drawing of Skaithen. Um, okay. <laughs> so nice. Um, also rummaging through here as well, you would see a smaller map um, that is just listed as the Katoa trade route. Um, in the bottom left, it would say the, like the Laglock Spires. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I'll definitely take the Skathen general map because mm -hmm. it's a good start, but nothing like towards Ocelia or anything in that area. Go ahead and roll an investigation check to see if you can find one. Well, I've never had a more resounding no. Okay. Um, so there wouldn't be any, like, regional maps of Ocelia or, like, the northern, um, northeastern parts of the Riftlands. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll try and go hunt down a shopkeep. Okay, yeah, there's a shopkeep in here. Um, you see, like, a... Uh, like a rough and tumble, like bearded gnome who is uh, sitting at the, the like counter behind the, at the, towards the end of the shop. Um, seems to be looking at this like book or ledger and just seems to be like writing stuff in there. There's like a massive coin purse right beside him. You see him <coughs> just like taking like gold out and just ding, 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 just like dropping gold into it. Okay. Um, excuse me. He looks up at you. He's like these big round spectacles and just, Huh? Yes? I'm uh, looking to acquire a map, or maybe more if you have some lying around somewhere. Oh, well, all of our maps are going to be over there, the, the crate over there. And, ooh, it looks like it needs a little bit of cleaning. I'll get to that later. Um, but uh, that's all the maps we have here. Okay, no worries. Because I found one that will serve me well. I was just hoping for one with maybe like closer to a cell here, but... Ooh, I thought we had some of those. I... Suppose we'll have to reach talk on them soon. Yeah, I could have just missed it. Who knows? Anyway, yeah, if I could just get my hands on this. No, of course. How do we do so? Oh, no problem. Oh, thank you. You see him, like, uh, move over the, like, massive coin purse and pull out another one, just slightly smaller. He just dumps the silver in there. Separate it by bag to make it easy? Of course. Makes sense. It's, like, color-coded. I mean, I guess that could work, but the silver and the platinum... Oh, well, I'm talking to me, like, pulls out, like, another, like, coin purse, and he pulls out, like, different coins of, like, different color. Like, one's, like, a, like, a purple color, one's, like, a teal color. And he just keeps pulling out different ones. And you're like, mm, see, you're color coding. Where did you get a purple coin? The north. Latin borough. 
What are they doing with purple? I don't know. It's like collector's items. I think. Well, yeah. What are they making the metal of? Don't ask me. I don't know. I just work here. Well, I mean, if it's a collector's item, I thought you would know. No. All right. Uh, oh, I appreciate the insight of knowing that there's purple coins. Now I have to go there at some point before I die. Mm. Well, if you happen to find any, you don't want them. You can always. Uh, bring I'll them bring back them here. back. Don't worry. Okay. We'll have to come back here at some point. <laughs> anyway, I will head out and go hunt back down I'll my friends. I'll put this on my map for later. Don't <laughs> 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 pin on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> purple coins question mark <laughs> it's the name of the pin that was dropped in the map <laughs> <laughs> uh. it's, a, it's like me in every video game ever it's just that <laughs> so yeah i will go rejoin my friends okay um hold on <laughs> are you still trying to get over the purple coin no i was just confirming something because i know who i can ask oh god <laughs> so yeah, no, I will go back. Raj, yeah, and this is a weird question. Purple coins? Yeah, what about them, Glattonboro? Yes. <laughs> Why are they purple? <laughs> Beats me. I didn't make them. God damn it! <laughs> it's just the way they are. It's probably My the only fucking human... metal is purple. Probably the only appealing thing to come out of the city. Accurate. <laughs> the main city. God damn it. You don't want to go to Yarborough. Or a side from gray and muted shit. Is that how they make up for the lack of color? Is it just like one singular purple coin? Yep. Best I can do. Yep. <laughs> Unless the tail ones are from there too. I did see one of those, but I, I, I didn't want to know. Catch us our eye, but you know. God damn it. This place doesn't make any sense. <laughs> None of them do. You're welcome. <laughs> Why is it purple? Why is it? Okay. Well, you two, you got any insight on this? No, because I have no clue. Purple shit? Purple coins. Oh, d- no. <laughs> We're all for purple coins. Okay, purple coins. He's gotta kill us. <laughs> <laughs> History check. Coming in. Coming in. Coming in. Roll for gaslight. <laughs> That's a natural twenty. <laughs> That's so much yeah. better than my nat one. I've never seen purple coins. So I'm gonna I've look like such a dumbass in this game. The cow just knows. <laughs> Okay, so you would know of one person in Ditch. You know him as the coin thief because of just the amount of coins he's stolen over the years and have hoarded them in different like like geocast locations almost. Okay. Um, and it's like a game for him to like store these coins in different places and then leave clues around the city of Ditch for people to go find them. And okay. so like anyone could become rich if they found this dude's hoard. Yeah. And at some point in your time in Ditch, you would have come across one of these clues, okay. followed it to the end of the trail, and would have just found a bag of just, just these like glittering, perfect condition purple coins. Okay. And you thought, these definitely have to be fake. No one here knows about any purple coins. Even if you would have asked around, people would have been like, I don't know, these look like fake shit. Like someone just would have like painted over copper coins or something like that. And so you it, maybe. Yeah. So you would have just like either given it away, put it somewhere else, just kind of forgotten about it at some point. Um, but you know, one person who wouldn't know about the purple coins. Okay. What was the question? Purple coins, Latin Moreau. Ah. Alright. Oh, did you get a map? Um. I got one. <laughs> yeah, do we, uh, okay. do we know where we're uh, going? North. What? Any, uh, what is in the uh, north? North of Celia. We have the destination. What's the road? That's the you know. Road. I wish I had an answer for you. You see this map? It doesn't even show this town. Well. <laughs> Where are we? Well, it's like so. Good. We head north. 
All I can say for certain is somewhere along the line there's a C. I don't know. Oh. I keep see. going north until we find <laughs> a big body of water and then we'll know exactly where we And then we keep we going north and eventually we find the Great Wall of Oselligan. <sighs> don't you have to do huh. a... A pig, uh, You know, a, when a I find star. it, I'll make it there, yeah. Dang. I don't even We're know what it is. We're not in like any rush to get a thing that could potentially, I don't know, make us not dead if we go to the dead place. I was told northwest. I thought you were given the map. No. Did Stras not give you a map? It was. It was a. Come on. Let me pull it All up. of a sudden, the map appears. I'm almost certain no, it, that there it was a map. is a map, but mm-hmm. it was. It was kind of more like a pirate map of like landmarks and X then marks the X. spot. Okay. Um. I missed that That's entire so detail. Let me let me pull it up because I do have it here. I'm so glad because I don't know where this is. I remember this shit. My notes are color coded, motherfucker. Um, You're welcome see. to the highlights. Thank you very much. All of mine lost their color too, which is devastating. And so have fun with your three different packs of highlighters. Where the fuck did you send it to me? Because I got. Locations, NPCs, gods, and whatnot, like groups. I have story beats that are important to remember. I have things to look into later. Yeah. Hello. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay. Um, well. <laughs> I need to make sure. So. Yeah, the only note so far that I've found, which isn't saying a lot, is Staff of Resur- Resurration- Resurrection Location, somewhere between Ho- here and Ocelia, underneath the statue in Catacombs. Yes. Supposedly. And. I don't remember the, what session that was. The, essentially, the map is not of like place to place to here, it's more so like where you would find the staff once you get. I'll have to go back and look at the video because my notes in here are not helpful at all. Um, but it's not so know. much a map of go to this city. He was more so like, you'll find it it's probably. It's in that direction. Yeah. Use this map as a reference. Oh, shit, wait. A Hold vague on. reference. I'm really close to... True. So there is no like direct location. It was more sending you on like a like wild goose chase to find it more so than give you actual directions. That was like his backhanded way of saying, here is this amazing, awesome, that magical so item that would help you in any situation. Good luck. Go find it. Yeah, every Fuck single note I have is it. effectively just, it's in a town with a statue and catacombs. That's about as much as information as you would have gained from the map that he would have given you and what he said. I hate that guy. That's fucking useless. <laughs> yep. Just like him. Yep. I hate him. So glad that that's what I got out of everything from Straz. Fuck that guy. So yeah, no, it, somewhere. I was told statue, town, catacombs. All in one place. Like, not like a, you know, you'll find a town and then you'll find a statue and, and then you'll find a catacombs. No, it's yeah. all in just one town. Hey, it's there. Okay. Do we know what towns are like on the way? Nope. Ah! You, you want to see the map? Sure. We got Fimbleton, we got Mahaloth, and then we got Ocelliot. That's it. Well. Okay. Nasal's not even on there. Nope. No. Okay. Like I said, we're north. Cool. So do we want to start it heading there? It was two self-herbs. But they keep making our way. No, 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 no. Yeah, north. Yep. At some point, we'll find a better cartographer, and I'll I'll bribe him. I <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna we're get a going map. to bribe him. Uh, Cartographer. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. Or we just buy a map. I, you, that's what I was thinking is that we just find like a better yeah, map you know, instead of going but... straight forward into bribing the cartographer. If necessary. If, good idea. If, yes. I'm always a fan of that. 
We grab the photographer and give it to someone else. I've been. We just know, false advertise the entire northern friends. regions. That way, people don't know what it looks like. We'll, we'll give it to Amberster, and he will make it. I don't even know if that old fuck can read the map. Probably not. Probably not. See, he's got to get why one of the even He can't even make it to the north. <laughs> he asks Kasich, oh, sweet boy, my sweet boy Kasich, can you please read this to me? And of course, he'll fucking do it because he's a pussy. And then he'll wind up in the fucking in throne for whatever reason. <sighs> well, now that I'm full, I'm breakfast. I'm... Yeah, want to go on an adventure? Yeah, yeah let's walk this off. Do we need any supplies? I can get us food along the way. Uh, I yeah, we have you. Don't really need to get rations, I guess. No, we got food aplenty. I can hunt. Do we? Uh, I can also hunt. Healy shit. What about it? Should we get some if they have any? Here? I feel like you guys have a few. I, I haven't used. Certainly have none. Oh. I have one. Meat. One healing potion. I, well, I mean, there was a guy. No, there was a gnome. That's I where I got healing. the map from. I, I didn't really look around potions. too much. Okay. I went in, I grabbed the map, I left. I have okay. two. Okay. I mean, that's a start. Do we want to? That's. Do we want to go? Two less than all the people we have. Yeah, we should probably go I see. Yeah. I think we'll some... take a peek. Yeah, I mean, who knows what magic she let's, 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 let's all go. Let's all go take yeah. a peek. I have a few potions each. Okay. Two potions each. I, just, I, I don't think drive. I've been hit in like seven years, so. Would you like to be? Want me to just give you a Want, want me to try? Hey, step off. I got you first. Not even like a hard one, just like a. No? Like a. like a. have seen what you can do with your fist. No. Okay, yes, but I can also be gentle. I don't. That I don't believe. No, Thank see, you. watch, and I very gently punch him on the shoulder. And was collapses. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> oh, you piece of shit! See, <laughs> that's see? a lie. That is a lie. No, this is a fabrication. You no, killed Ambrose. No, no, no Ambrose. No, get off. <laughs> no, I honestly, Ambrose. Get off. Ambrose is one of the most trustworthy guys that I've ever met. I grabbed yeah. him by the collar. Stop lying to them. Stop lying. <laughs> you killed him. Oh my With God. his hurt arm, just here, take this. Stop! 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 Oh, I feel so better. Thank you, Mirage. Yeah. I feel so better. You just rock on the brink of dead. Well, we can't fix that. Ambrose, are you okay? I know this man is so mean to you. I think... I think I saw Kaiser for a bit. Oh my, I can't believe that you almost actually grabbed, saw him? He almost grabbed my hand. Stuff it up your ass, okay? <laughs> Take Kaiser's hand and shove it so far up your ass that his fingers are twiddling out of your mouth. Damn. There's like miles of intestines to go through. Do you know how oh fucking that is? Oh my fucking god! And I just turn a point. <laughs> towards wherever the fuck you came from. I'm going, I'm gone. And I walk, I just go, ah! And I just walk away. <laughs> Oh my god. Does anybody I'm else heading like, to the fucking potion store? Does anybody <laughs> else like in the cafeteria Bye. just like look at Oh yeah. Oh my god, we were in the inner city! <laughs> yeah, everyone around you were just They just went to be a cost of man and <laughs> tried to beat him back into life and then scream and leave. Yep. <laughs> Um, Macau certainly knows. Make one hell of a nice intestine. Kind of goes silent. remembered for eternity. That's. For oh that yeah, no. And it won't be for the fortress at this point. Uh, should we go? Should we go find him? No. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go <laughs> to the shop. All right. Okay. Yeah. You go to this shop. I walk so fast. Stop! 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 Okay. <laughs> Stop, good. click, stop, click, stop, click. <laughs> <laughs> He's pulling out the paperwork, guys. Uh, He's giving us homework. Uh, no, no. No. <sighs> I'm gonna need you to sign all these documents. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Pull in the Glad the roll. Mentally equipped for today. 100%. Never. 
Dara, here. what are you doing here? Get out of here. This is the wrong Dara. What? The wrong Dara? It's the D&D Beyond Dara. Ah. Oh. Fuck that Dara. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so you travel into the dam. Uh, <laughs> damn, damn, damn! We went into a dam. dam. <laughs> I don't know how to dam here. Oh my god, like where's the dam? Like hydroelectric or beaver? <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it's a beaver dam. I want to go pet a beaver. <laughs> He's gonna <pull> us. <laughs> Episode for us today. I'm not gonna describe which kind of dam it is. It's a dam. There is a dam. There is a dam. There is a dam. There's nowhere near a body of water right now. There is a dam. Weird that it's not on the map. There's a big ass dam that you could see from space. Yeah. Oh fuck, guys, we're gonna be sending us to the Skull Island. You've been banished to Skull Island. <laughs> okay, so you enter his adventuring store. <laughs> what do you? What do you? What do you want? <laughs> what healing potions? You can roll for healing potions. What? Okay. Excuse me, sir. Can I come in? Thank you. What to find the place? Sorry, no, I'm not, you know where the place is. Derek can lead you there. Okay, cool. Okay, four. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I four add? Healing potions. What do you add? My modifier for fine healing potions is 10. <laughs> Plus 10, so that's a 14. <laughs> a 14? Yeah. Yeah, no, dude, the stats, are, the stats right are literally right fine there. Fine healing potion plus, plus 10. 10. Okay. <laughs> um, you find a small crate <laughs> on, on like a little like bookshelf kind of area. <laughs> <laughs> you see inside are glowing red potions. One of them looks pretty big, and then you got like four like smaller ones inside of it. Oh! Andrew, or sorry, Eve, at this point, you would walk in. Uh, Ornan, what do you want? I was walking with them. You're okay. You yeah, also you also want? find your way to the adventure. Healing store. potion! Roll I'm for healing there, potion. <laughs> Roll for separate healing potion. I fucking elbow him when he tries to get in the chest. 15. Plus 10, so 25. Sure, you find a smaller container beside the one Macau is currently looking at with, it's not even like a contained healing potion. There is just like red sludge in this container. It's glowing though, it looks like a healing potion. I'm gonna stare at it disappointingly. I'm like digging to the thing and then I look at it. <laughs> <And> I <laughs> Oh, I can't see you, ass! Oi, no fighting in the store! <laughs> Who said that? The shopkeep, you dillweed! I can't! I... Sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm just Take sorry. your hand off of the cow and wipe your eyes. I apologize, I don't know what this problem is. Mm. Let's keep it civil. Of course. <laughs> We're trying to buy from this man, <laughs> not <laughs> ruin our name. Yes, I know, okay. <laughs> What, so, um, He's the one who threw it in my fucking shit. Yes. I know. What's going on? Fuck. Uh, okay. Yeah. There are four smaller healing potions, and it seems to be like one like greater healing potion. So four normal, one greater. Uh, Mister Shopkeep. Yes. How much are we looking at for um, like one of these for the two? What is the price? Oops, through his ledger. Mm. Fifty for the small ones, and the greater one looks to be a hundred gold pieces. Gold pieces? Yes. Okay. Um. So here's the thing. I'm super bad at math. Um, how many uh platinum pieces would I need to give you to buy like the big one and like two of the normal? Well, ones? right. Well, you you. I'm very good at math, so come on over here, I'll show you. It's 20 go, platinum. Go. go. 20? Go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> 50 <laughs> for gold. Yeah, 50 for the for two of the small ones. Yep, so and that's then 100. it's 100, and then you divide by 10. You remove a zero. You lot, no. Nope. Amber was never done either. Okay, 50 plus 50, plus 100. That's one. Uh, That's 200. Yep. And the platinum piece is 
10 gold pieces. 10 gold pieces. So, so remove a zero. You put the 200 under the two, 10. Okay. Remove the zero, you get 20 over one. So 20, 20 platinum. platinum. You have now learned division. I certainly have not. And I will put 20 platinum on the thing and then take two of the small ones and the big one. All right. Very good. Thank you for your business. Yep. I'm going to take a look around to see if there's just anything else of interest in here. Sure. Roll investigation. Oh, well, it's not the worst roll of the day. Oh. My worst roll of the day was a flat one on an investigation <laughs> with zero investigation. Uh, what does that say? As you're like searching through, um, you find like an open like treasure chest and inside is just a d abundance of just miscellaneous like crap. Like you see like a crystal ashtray in there. You see like a vase with like a crack in it. Uh, and then as you're like digging through just to try to find anything interesting at the very bottom, you see what appears to be like the head of a snake and you kind of freak out for a second before you're like, oh, that's not real. And so you go down, you grab it and you start like yanking it out and it's a whip and the end of it has a snake head on it. Like the end of the whip. Yo! Ooh. Snake Bye. part two! Bye. On the, on the Bye. whip handle, there's some dun, sort of dun, like dun. incantation on there. Dun, dun, dun. What languages do you speak? Not many. In fact, I know exactly which languages I speak. Druidic, Elvish, and Common. Because I sacrificed a language for a musical proficiency. Correct. This would be Elvish. Ain't no, all right. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. <laughs> okay, okay what, what's it say, Magic Man? <laughs> Speak in Snake's tongue, and this weapon will come alive. Size. 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 Normally, only portion one d four plus four. One d four plus four, and then two. the greater one is two d four. I think so. Plus four. Hold on. I think. Hold on. I, I, I got it. I got it. I got. It. I got. It. I believe the greater is four d four plus four, but I could be wrong. You might be right. I don't know. Because I know a the regular is two d four plus two. I don't remember. I've got. I've got. I've got. 4d4 plus 4. There you go. And then it goes 8d4 plus 8, and then 10d4 plus 20 the for Supreme. The normal healing potions are 2d4 plus 2. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, shopkeep. Mm -hmm. what, what? What? Speak in snake. You know what this is? I've never seen that before in my life. Where did you find that? Bottom of a bin. Buried. Which one? That one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know that was my cousin's and I found it in his house and I brought it here just to sell whatever he had. So, um, uh, yeah, I have no idea what that is. Well, I think it's just a whip. Well, I can sell it to you. What do you want? Three gold. Fair enough. Oh. Oh. It's all yours. Don't Thanks. Know. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna find out. Pretty sure it just does whip things. <coughs> Where is my money? Where is my money? It is the right. He's a bear. He's a wolf. Oh, that was a different part of the song. Okay, me too. <laughs> yes, I see that. That was the point of what I said. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. 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 Okay. Anything else you guys want to do here? Anybody else want to say some potions? Oh, okay. <laughs> right. If you buy the last two potions, I'll just 
I'll there are two other healing potions. Two of them. Uh, if you want to try to find other healing or other potions, go ahead and roll investigation. Up to you. Yeah, yeah fuck it. Why not? That's. Let's see. Let's see. The limited use, and I'm like, nope. Investigation. Not 20. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You know how dynamite can be like wrapped up together in a bundle? Yeah. yeah. So on top of a like rickety pedestal that does not look like it's steady whatsoever, at the very top of it, you find what appears to be like wrapped, like a wrapped bundle of alchemist fire. And it has like a rope attached to it that is meant to be like whoosh. Oh. That's sick as fuck. You said Alchemist Fire and I got flashbacks to Call of the Nether Deep oh. and I wanted to cry. <laughs> <sighs> Can I reach it without it getting knocked over? Do you have Mage Hand? No. No. I don't. Do you, well, do you? It's no. Oh, shit. I don't think I can. Uh... What are my chances? Very. With my dope monk shit. Good. Maybe. Great. They could be if you roll well. Hmm. They could be. Why am I getting messaged by people? On the acrobatics (laughs) check. Roll persuasion to lower DC. (laughs) (laughs) I twiddled my mustache. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Deadpool and just lower the DC. (laughs) Yeah. Pulls the screen in close. That's a. What's my persuasion modifier? Like a like a plus four. So that's an unnatural twenty to lower the DC. I was like, I would say it's a good plus four. Okay, for DC okay, lowered. Yeah. Okay, DC. Uh, can I? Uh, I see. I see. You like looking at it. And I go. Hold on a second. You got this. And I the the world wants to find out. <laughs> God just lowered the DC, and then. I will, <laughs> I will try to get up there and get it without it exploding everywhere. Sure, make an acrobatics check. If it if it comes to it and it's not good, I will intentionally hold it if I fall so that it doesn't shatter. Okay. I will hold it with my little body and I will shield it from the ground. <laughs> Sounds good. Ah! 23. Yeah. So this pedestal is like on top of a table and it's like, it's like, leaning and teetering with this bundle of alchemist fire on there. You have no idea why it would be placed like this. Um, So you like carefully clamber onto the table and then are able to like hop up, grab the pedestal, grab the alchemist fire and come back down without it like falling or anything. (sighs) For you. Impressive. Oh. Thank uh, you. Thank you. I'd say more impressive than the fountain tree. Yeah, I guess. So you just found a flail oh. of alchemist <laughs> fire? <laughs> Looks like it. More um, impressive than the fountain tree. Arguably the most tree. dangerous weapon that we've found in a while, and that's including the blue dynamite that I heard about. Yeah. Um, Medicine? I guess so. Uh, excuse me, Shopkeach? Yes? Uh, how much for this uh, alchemist fire? Oh. I've been meaning to get that down for a while, thank you. Um... Why was it up there in the first place? We got a get down discount? Get down discount. God, okay. Get get down discount key? Mm -hmm. D&D Beyond, I look up Alchemist Fire, I click on it for equipment, and guess what it's bringing up? The 2024 Player's Handbook. Fuck yourself. Let me see if I Hold can. on, now I have to go and twiddle my little fingers through D&D Beyond to find Alchemist Fire on That's here. It's okay, I'll just get a healing potion. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put it back on the rickety I'm just shelf. trying to find out exactly... <clears throat> okay, I'm going to introdu- introduce you to a... Uh, very legal source of all D D. According to the Forgotten Realms, it's about fifty gold pieces. Yes. Right. However, in the thirteen seventies DR, the price of it was about twenty. I mean, what happened? Uh, Fucking hey, inflation, man. Fantasy inflation. What you gonna do? 
What you gonna do? Dungeons and Inflate. No. What you gonna do? Oh. What? <laughs> Thank you. I stopped. Thank you. I just stopped. So these seem to be a whole bunch of alchemist fire flasks bundled together. There's probably about like 20 of them all wrapped together. Oh my. That's a, that's a few. To... Yeah, but you did get it down. So there's a, like a discount. Get for that. down this <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I just learned so much about alchemist fire. It's pretty great. It, it is effectively napalm. Yeah, it sticks to anything it touches. Yeah, and it is napalm. And then it literally just makes contact with the air and it goes, oh shit. Yeah, that's, like it's I said, it's napalm. They went, what if we made napalm? And they, and they went, well, that's that, fantasy napalm. That's a war crime. <laughs> that's a war crime. <laughs> um, we'll do 250 gold pieces for the entire thing. Whoa. Hmm. Whoa. Um, does this only come in a bundle? <laughs> it only comes in That's the way that it was designed, but if you want to take it apart... Why would you dismantle the flail of fire? No, I mean, I just... I don't know what I mean. The whole thing. You smash someone over the head with it. That's... That, yeah. It's because it's expensive. Yeah, I get that. Still. That's a lot of money. Um, I'll hold off on this for now. I was mainly in the market for healing potions. Okay. Well, how much right. money do you guys have? Right. 455 gold. 397 gold. You guys did all calculate the, the money you did get recently, right? I did. Okay. I did. Because I have, um... <laughs> Don't look at me like that. We got money recently. Yes. This is very good. You got wow. 1,600 gold pieces in total from the 100 watchers. Hey, how much money do I have? Yeah, no, I have damn near 1,000 gold pieces. So, in total, uh, how much did we get? 400? 1,600. Because I and never I spend my five. gold. You can, or if you don't want to include Ambrose, you can do it by four. It's up to you guys. What did y'all do for your mathematicals? What? When you did the mathematicals to- I think I might have divided it divide by five. Up. I don't even know if I did. Ah. One of you did divide it by five, so that's gotta be you. That was me. You're like, okay, we'll do this, divide it by five, and I think it was like 325 per person. Or something it was like that. 320. 320, okay, yeah. Yeah, 320, and then if it's four, it's 400. Just do the 320 and we'll give some to Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's broke. Fuck him. He used to have all my money. And then he gave it to you. And then he gave it to me. I keep okay. unintentionally opening my DM with you, and all I see is fucking Hakari dance. 617. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best <laughs> chapter ever, just <clears throat> it fucking disappears. Man hits the Michael Jackson hip thrust and then disappears into the ether. That's how I want to go. <laughs> I need you to read JJ King, please. Because <laughs> oh, I don't want to wait another like two years for that to be animated. Oh, I know. Shit. God, so good. Fuck, we're so far away from that. Well, there's a movie coming up next, so. What? For JJ King? Yeah, there's a movie coming out. It's covering season two. Um, Ew. Specifically, the uh, oh shit, what's the arc called? The very beginning one. The hidden inventory arc. Yeah, it's a hidden hidden inventory movie. That's all it is. Oh, that's stupid. That was basically the movie, and then. So the they're they're pulling a demon slayer then, but right? They're doing it backwards. Yeah, they're doing it backwards. There's Why? Demon Slayer. Releases the movie and then they summarize or fill in other little things in the episode. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Infinity hey. Train. What the fuck? Yeah, you go again, Train, because it's Infinity, Infinity Castle. Castle. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you, Demon Slayer. That's I'm almost, I'm almost caught up, though. I have, like, less than 50 chapters to catch up to JJK. It's really good. We've it's only got, like, done. four chapters left. Yeah, it's, almost, it's almost done. Damn. September 30th. Really? Is the final yeah. chapter. I'm, That's wild. I yeah. feel like they have so much stuff left to do where I'm at. They do. Oh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Understood. understood. Oh, so they're... JJK made decisions. Yeah. Hmm. JJK said, the end. Go went. Goodbye. No, it's it's it's, it's gay guy, not go go. That's that's Korean. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's and I want to see more of Hakari because there's only like one. Spot. Chinese. It's, it's Chinese. Chinese. You right. It's Chinese. I'm mixing my languages. It's up. because it's because the subtitles or they speak a Mandarin. I made a mistake. I admitted it. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this unsponsored session talking about Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> and also, it will happen again. China? <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> China. The Communist Republic of China? Me, <laughs> huh? I hate you. Me, <laughs> how? Okay. So. What's your What's your What's your Oh my god. Pink chilling, that's all I know. That's Mandarin. Pink chilling! That's Mandarin in high school. Hey! What did your papa want to say? Snippets. Your papa want to say. I was never asked there. What does your name have? Ah, Fetan. Could I do Jamie this? Jamie this! I'm going to go to the school. 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 I thought, oh, no. I thought you were just gonna say Superman in a Japanese <laughs> accent. <laughs> Superman! <laughs> Superman! I mean, to be fair, have you seen the majority of Japanese words that are American in origin? Yeah, yeah. there it's katakana. uh katakana. Because it like a uh, credit card? Guess what that is in Japanese? Kureji Yep. Toilet. Knife? Knife. Toilet. 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 Yeah. Salad? Salada. Salada. Basketball's worse. <laughs> ATM? ATM. Huh? Yep. Basu Katoburu. Borrow Buri Buru. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, Clean Zubaga. Can I buy a potion now? Can I buy <laughs> There's two potions left to buy in the store, Andrew. Do you want them? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's a hundred gold. spent the whole fucking episode. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on this episode of Fragments and Also. Remember when you were worried about having enough content, Keith? <laughs> Every session I get so stressed out. I don't know why I'm ever worried. We're almost, we're almost an hour and a half into this and we haven't fucking left the adventuring star. A hundred gold pieces for the, for the potions. So. <laughs> Here we go, mister. Nice doing business with you. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> wow, what a gentleman. Hey, we're going Kutete north. Uf. We're going north. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> what the fuck? What? No, 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 no. So we're heading north. <laughs> yeah, you got quest questing. Is that the thing you made thing from Zelda? Yeah. We're hitting the fields. We venture, the sun is bright oh, and shit. Hey, hey, Amber, <laughs> we, have some, we have some breaking news for you. Oh no. Quit at the oof, quit at the oof, quit at the oof. What? Anyway. What? Okay, so. Don't make me wonder what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're heading north. <laughs> So we're going north. So we're going north. We are uh, already, no, hold on, we're already there. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we head, we head north. Interesting enough, no. After we head out of town, there's actually something you need to do. Okay. 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 So, you, is there anything else you guys want at the adventuring store? Don't make Andrew mad. <laughs> we are heading north because we love, we love north. We, <laughs> we love the north. <laughs> we <laughs> fuck <laughs> north. Cut the tape. Um, are we? So, is there anything? <laughs> what, is it, what does it mean? You are an egg. You are an egg. <laughs> is there? Wait. Anything worthwhile? We've other arrived than, like, somewhere. Oof is also egg in Japanese. <laughs> That's French. That's not how you say that. 
It's funnier though. It is funnier. Is there? To a oof. That's it. Anything. To the oof. You are an egg. In. What Shop. about you are an that egg? That is Same intriguing. Okay. In this fantasy land that we are all in. No, you've cleared out the store. Amazing. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going more. Okay. <laughs> you guys have reconvened outside the adventuring store. Are you just leaving? I I would say that we should say goodbye yeah. to the people. Yes. I guess. Because, you know, we've helped Fine. them and they've helped us. Yeah. If we can, we can do a... We can do an Irish and goodbye. We can do a skill or goodbye and just do the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you need a letter. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I feel like that would fit. I wouldn't, we're going to ignore just how fucked up that was. We'll leave a letter. What? Morning, you wanna? No. Wait, wait, did I, no, that, did I do fucky fucky? No, it's fine. It is with heavy Macau cards can just that not know and just be disappointed out. in their actions later once they. Wait, that what? didn't. What? Hmm. A school or a goodbye? Yeah, you just, like, you're at the party and you don't tell anyone you're leaving and you just go, I'm out. That, that, no. 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 Right. There's so many problems with you just said. I thought that was like a. You should. No. The shush. Have my education been minimal and not correct? Yeah. Okay. Very incorrect. Mm. North? Yeah. But buys. Not doing yeah, what so, I said. Not so doing. Who, we're gonna say who do we I care about think, in this city? Uh, Nagoa, for sure. Agreed. No, do we Nicole want to Brown. say goodbye Brown. to I think that's a fair. our yeah. little mm. crazy no. friend? No. I don't think so. I think that would I'm be unwise. Very, I'm scared of. Yeah. But I, I feel like we need. We no. owe him a good. No, we don't. We can leave a very nice note. Do we have to? Uh, no, but that's why I said good. Should we? <laughs> it's better than going. No, because. I, I was going to say, I, I feel like Brad Nicole. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like he would find us and then try to just do something really fuck. I don't know. <gasps> yeah, yeah I, I say we. Get out of here as quickly okay. as we can. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he's a fun guy, but mm. not funny looking. What? Is it oh. Fun <clears throat> Why are we being so mean to him? What are you saying to me? He started it. At, at what point does that make that an excuse viable? <clears throat> yeah, that's yeah, nothing to say. I have a hair on your nose. There you go. So, oh, sorry, let me. <laughs> let's, let's go let's find Brahma Nakoa and then yeah. let's get yep. out of here. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. We go! Okay, so finding Nakoa and Brahma would be easy as both of them would be inside the, the inner sanctum. Uh, Nakoa would be with the spirit of the forest near the Ironwood tree, whereas Brahma would be um, somewhere else in the inner sanctum, probably talking to. Um, a few of the other iron watchers uh, trying to make plans for how to repair and restore nasal back to its its full glory. So, who do you want to go talk to first? Nakoa. Sure. Okay. We'll speak to Nakoa. Heading up to In the spirit of the forest. Mm-hmm. Yes. Heading up to Nakoa. Um, Dara, you would hear him speaking in dru- druidic to the spirit of the. Huh? You don't know druidic? It's not a spoken language. It's not a spoken it's language. A written it's specifically language. a written language. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh. Then they're not speaking in druidic. <laughs> um, Primordial? Do you speak Sylvan? Fuck no. Then no. You would not understand what they're saying. I forgot about Sylvan. Um, so, as you approach, though, they would turn to you. Um, Nakoa has this big bright smile on his face seeing you all and just walks up, bows, and just, is there anything I can do for you? We were coming to inform you we were on our way out. We're fucking off! Ah, I see. Well, thank you for everything you've done for Nasal and for your words of wisdom. I cannot repay you for what you've done. You don't need to. Kick an ass out there? 
Pay me the money. That was <laughs> sick. Get the fuck out of my face. That was bad. That was. <laughs> It's like engraved up in the brain. Like, no, come on. You see his Memory. cheeks go like bright red. <clears throat> well, thank you. And I do wish you luck on your journey. And I hope one day you can return to come see us again. That would be nice. Agreed. That does seem pleasant. Yes. Yeah, nice. I'm at the show in the grove where you're planting the trees. Yes. Mm-hmm. We'll have to do that when you return. Yes. I look forward to it. We all again, safe travels, my friends. I'm just Scared gonna like, the forest. You see it just kind of like bows its head down to you all without That's saying anything. Me. That is so freaky, okay. <laughs> to bra? To bra! Yeah. Okay. Heading over to Brom, uh, you see him uh, scrolled over like a town map of Nasal. Uh, you see markings everywhere of like things they need to repair and like lists of supplies that they're going to need and where they're gonna need to get them from. Um, but as you approach the table, uh, he like looks up, again, a big smile comes over his face. Ah, my friends. So what do we have today, huh? What plans? We're heading out. Yeah, I see. Well, a sad day for all of us in Nasal, but... Oh. Look at you all. Warriors of Nasal. You've done us a great deed. You will be remembered here forever for what you've done for us. You fought against mighty creatures. The Black Lung Queen herself. If it weren't for you, I would not be standing here, nor would Nakoa. And the rest of Naza would have fallen. So, walk with your heads high. You are heroes. Hmm? Well, come back sometime soon, yeah? We'll have a warrior's feast prepared for you. <laughs> you don't need to do that. And if you ever need help, and he walks up, he'd probably walk up to you, Macau, and just kind of like, <laughs> warrior's clasp. If you ever need help. <laughs> and he like looks out to the rest of you. You can count on us. Good to know. Mm. While he's not looking, can I draw a really tiny dick on him off if he's working? <laughs> <laughs> Slide of hand check, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put it with a little message if I can, but if he catches me, I won't be able to finish it. Oh, no! He catches you. He catches me. <laughs> Nine. Woof. Unless he's just We're so distracted by how cool we are. Um, so, as he's like class, when he still talks to the rest of the group, you kind of like. I try to like. And he just like looks back and he sees that you're drawing, but like doesn't really care that you're doing. Oh, cool. So he like lets go of you and then just lets you do whatever you want to cool do. Cool, so I'll draw a little dick. And I'm just gonna put uh... <laughs> Ironwood Watchers rock hard, <laughs> <laughs> and then and put like a little smiley face. Okay, very good. Um, so yeah, then he just looks out once again and just safe journeys, my friend. Thank you. Good luck with rebuilding. Yeah, with all that. Ah, Nasal's in good hands. Agreed. <laughs> yes, Very it is. Nasal in the Brookbond Forest is much safer now that the demons are gone. Hopefully, forever, if I'm hopeful. But realistically, I'll uh, give it a good 50 years or so. <laughs> There's plenty of time to come back. Yes. Maybe? I mean, trees can grow a decent amount in 50 years. I'll be decrepit by then, then. Uh, I will also probably not be doing too much. Yeah, no. I'm a 80 year old hag. Yeah, you too, huh? Yeah. That should be doing pretty good. So no. I'll, I don't you think know, you can achieve hag status. and that's I'll make sure to come back in two theaters in case so. you need it, okay? I look forward to your return, then. How long do you live? 
like twenty cents. That the so fifteen would be like. I wouldn't have been like my prime anymore, but what? I should. How long do you live? You'll be 76. Maybe a little longer? You're gonna be decrepit. They can still fight. It'll be fine. Have you have you ever seen a 70 or a six year old? But also have you met him? <laughs> Do you it, Hold on! From how old are you? 52. Oh. You see all the bad ass shit that he can do? That's a dragonborn! <laughs> okay, and <laughs> they live longer! <laughs> Uh, I'm stuck with you, Fox, too. Well, you must be fun to travel around with. We're, we're a hoot. I'll tell you that. Oh, uh, Was that the joke because you can become one? What? Uh, I can't. Oh. Not yet? I don't know. Nick? I tried. Hmm. Do you not, can you at least swim? No. No? What can't? Anything at all? Dog! Box? Yes. Limitations. Well, yes. as we go, I suppose. Yes. Let, let's well, get may the going. heart of the iron would protect you all. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Be safe. safe. That's and right. Also to you. And I hope to see you <laughs> all very soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's let's go. Let's yeah. blow this popsicle stand. As you guys begin to leave, some of the iron watchers would like turn and then just begin to like wave or like bow or nod to you as you all leave Nasal. Hell yeah. All right. So. Do I, do I see the dragonborn fox that tried to attack me and Ambrose at the same time? Make a perception check. <laughs> oh, that was like the, Okay. Oh. Did it fall Jamie. into that? Yeah, <laughs> no. oh. it went in the door. Okay. I'll get Consumed it. Consumed by the void. I'll get it in a second. Yeah. Tons. Imagine doing it to your friend's dice. Goddamn. 14. Get my fucking dice. Oh. I think you're gonna have to open it up. I'll look in a second. You can go ahead. You can open it. No, go ahead. Acquire the die. There's gotta be a better way. Hello? Oh, wait. Oh! Sorry, <laughs> close it. Look down by your foot. Oh! Wow. How did that get in there? Oh. It definitely is not where it ended up. That's weird. <laughs> I magicked it. Good job. 14! <laughs> Uh, you would see them. They're like um, towards the outer parts of Nasal. They're like clearing rubble um, to start like uh-huh. preparations for repairing. And you see one of them like oh, and look over and just see you all leaving. And they just kind of stop for a moment, both of them just like look over. Are there still people who are like, oh, bye, like being all friendly with us and shit? In this area? Um, Some. Very few out towards like the outer parts of Nasal. Okay. I will just... When they see me, I'll just gesture them and go. <sighs> and they just kind of like go back to work. Give Ambrose a pat on the back. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you see Ambrose like shake his head. Wait, are those the. Yeah. Uh, oh, delightful. They tried to kill the fuck out of me, dude. Okay. What? Uh, it's crazy. Don't worry about it. They, I mean, they tried to, they really weren't successful. Yeah. That happens. <laughs> I, okay, that's not fair. You, You've had you your ass had, kicked how many times by one guy. You had help, though, to be honest. Like, divine help. Oh. So it wasn't just you. No. Not his scary mm. present. Mm. Oh, what the shame. Is that how today is gonna go? Is <laughs> this just, just where we those. are today? This is just one of those This days, is just yeah. consistently a thing where... Anytime I try to have a victory, I mean, it was a victory. Some shit on it. No, no, we're all very proud of you for finally accepting help from the above. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end progress. And <laughs> Ambrose like pats <laughs> you on the back. Anybody want to see something that possibly neat? Or hor- horrifically disappointing. Oh, For God. what? I hope to God's above that it's disappointing as fuck. It would be kind of funny. 
Uh, whip. Oh. Yeah. It's oh. got a snake head on it. Yeah, Apparently, it. it. Any of you read Elvish? No, nope. no. I know how to speak it. Yeah. Well, apparently, if you uh, speak something to it, speak, speak it, speak and snakes. Speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it, speak it. Yeah, you speak those words, <laughs> and the runes glow green, and it almost seems like the whip turns into like um, scales, and it just you hear as this like green oh. energy goes like from the the hilt or like the shaft all the way up to the head. And then once it reaches the head, the eyes of the snake glow red before the whip just kind of like drops to like ground. And then the whip just starts to like move on its own like a snake <gasps> while you still have like hold on to it and it just goes, whoa. And the snake goes like right in front of your face, Eve, before it just like stops. And it's like snake tongue is like, I'm just looking at you. It can smell fear, be brave. I Whips over the rest fear. of you to like, uh, fucking the couch. Snake. And then You're you hear like a or... rustling like in the bushes near you and this thing goes. <laughs> <laughs> it pulls out like this squirrel that it now has in its mouth. No! Um, oh my God. Strikes out towards Macau. Just punch the fuck out. <laughs> Turn it off. <laughs> it starts to like move back and forth. Gets limp. We did not. It already turns back into a whip. What huh. the fuck? I give it back. <laughs> give it to the person that actually likes animals. We'll yeah, never I speak like of this again. Just not once it tried to eat my fucking face. <laughs> you punched it. It lunged at me! That's not my fault. <sighs> I'm not blaming you! <laughs> I'm fucking speed walking. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> join you. I fucking join you. Let's I go. also I'm join out. you. You can enjoy your snake time. I'm walking with them. That's cool as shit. Don't let it try to eat my face, please. One serpent in my life is good enough. Oh, God. <laughs> and she is wonderful. You had the That's tidal like, wave in the shape of a mother serpent, so yes. that would be jealous. two. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this in It's bag. cool as shit. That's that's really cool. We Don't get big fit in tight spaces if we need it to. Yeah. It's great Scoot. for hunting if it's it hands it over. So Might be injected is, with poison. I guess a squirrel then. is just gonna sit in that whip until... Yeah. Dormant? Yeah, I don't even want to think about that. Dora can whip shit. If we get a... <laughs> How would I know? If we start getting a weird smell, then I guess we'll reawaken it and let yeah. it... Let yeah. Let it... Yeah. Spit it out. The Does it shed? Ugh. Oh. Oh. Why would you... You didn't have to say that. How much was that thing? Three gold. Oh. Mm. Impressive, but... I don't think he knew. Impressive. You fucking... Yes. If it sheds, that means it's gonna get bigger. Oh. Sweet. Hey, can we not talk about? Can mm, we like okay. keep? Can we keep what? going? North, north, north. north, 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 north. Yes, you did. North, north, north. Where's your little? North. Your little <laughs> radar sitch. Uh, you guys <laughs> start traveling outside Nasal into the Brookbond Forest, traveling north. You guys travel for quite a bit of time through this peaceful forest until all of a sudden oh you would start hearing a familiar whistle. A familiar whistle. I need everyone to <laughs> Deck saving throw from everyone. Fuck. Talk now. Gorsh. 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 Oh, that's unfortunate. Retro. I push someone out of the way and get injured myself. Uh, mine's a 13. I have not even rolled it. Things were looking good and then it tipped. Can that one. <laughs> would, would I be able to try to push? Bring a vision. 
don't want to do, I don't want to do that. Not yet. Can I try to push Macau into safety and let me take the hit instead? Yes. So you can essentially aid Macau. Okay. You will take an automatic failure though. That Does that is... make sense? Okay. Okay. What if no, never mind. Okay. That's fine. Um, so nice. what does Macau I'm pretty sure need? Sure, I also fail. What do I need to do? Um. So essentially, you roll, and then if you succeed, then you push Macau out of the way. You're essentially giving him like help. Eighteen. Okay, that succeeds. Eleven. You say move, you start to run not fast enough, and I okay, shove you. On. I'm pulling up Ambrose's <laughs> things. Not I forgot to level up Ambrose. That's okay. Oh, um. Sure. Okay. So, oopsies. Because you have a lot less hit <clears throat> points than I you do. do. Please, okay. you? thank you. Okay, Ambrose. Ooh, uh, ooh, 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 fails. Okay. So, rolls, please. Eleven. That was a eighteen to push Macau out of the way. Okay, so Macau, you succeed. Hey. What was yours, Dara? Eleven. Fail. Uh, yeah. A net two. Fail. <laughs> okay. So everyone except Macau uh, takes 10 points of piercing damage as a volley of arrows comes crashing through the trees and just <laughs> um, <clears throat> either just barely grazing you or the force of the arrow like exploding as it whizzes past you and like into the ground or just right beside you. Um, any of these um, could just like immediately pierce through you, but they're close. Just the force of all these either grazing you or whatever um, deals quite a bit of damage to you. Um, <clears throat> so these arrows crash through the trees and into you. What do you do now? Look around to try and spot Tothnil. Sure. Um, yeah, I go would also ahead. like to try to spot Tothnil. Um, cast mage armor. <laughs> okay, very good. You can go ahead and make perception checks. Is this going to be hearing or sight based? Or some other sense? Because if it's hearing, Gawain gives me advantage. I will, I'll allow hearing. Okay. Sure. That would make, that could make sense. Yeah, I'm trying. Nat 20. Neither though. Okay. I'm trying to base it off the trajectory of where they came from. Yep. So I'm trying to. I'm just like, phew. Ooh. Ooh, very good. Got that, a 19? 19? That okay. is a 24 in total for the 21. Okay. 13. Okay, so everyone except Mirage um, wouldn't kind of know where these arrows are coming from. Uh, using Gawain to like listen out for them, um, you would be able to hear like the whistling and kind of like the twing of like the bow, like shooting off arrows. Um, Macau and Ornan looking at the direct tra trajectory of the arrows, you would see like looking up, he is shooting in a way where the arrows are coming like directly down from the sun. So it kind of like hurts to look up where the arrows are coming to try from. To get out the way. Yes, however, you are able just to barely catch a glance through like the canopy of the trees of where like the shadow of these arrows are coming from. They're being shot almost directly to the east of you but they're being shot up in a way where they're coming mm -hmm. directly they're coming down on right top of you. Down. This, whoever this person is has extremely good accuracy. I would love you ready to, to fucking <laughs> just yeah, start I was about to, off. boom. Okay. You just see Macau and Ornan just, boom. Fast as fuck. Okay, Macau and Ornan just take off into the woods. <laughs> oh, um, here's, it's so <laughs> you know, one of these days, you guys will actually stick around long enough that I can cast Bless. I yeah. just, boom, I'm like, okay. why'd you stop running? Yeah, I will cast Bless at first level on, shit, how many people do I pick? Uh, Three four. or four? Four? 
my heart rate. Double checking. <laughs> Double checking. No wonder. <laughs> Three. Three people. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Oh. Go! Meow, meow. Okay, Orin and Macau take off. Um, Eve, Dara, what are you doing? I will follow after them. <laughs> yep. Okay, all of you guys begin uh, running east. Go ahead, and if you're trying to track him running this way, uh, make a survival check. Can you have a thing for this? Yes, that's what I was just about to say. Survival. Oh shit. Twenty-two. Well, okay. Oh god, buddy. I have a plus seven in this. Oh no. Eleven. Okay. (laughs) Seven. Oh. oh, Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm dying today. I might actually go. (laughs) <laughs> We're gonna have a rough day today, boys! So this is how you can <gasps> Okay. Born in can I use the sanctioned scent, but with the... Sanctioned scent? Sanctioned sang- scent. There you go. For the 120 feet, and then spend a... Not for this one. Well, I know, but sanguine scent means... That means blood. Yeah. And then spend the hit die to learn the exact location. So it's within the five mile. It's within five miles. Yeah. So with with spending a hit die, I'm just trying to remember what it does. With spending a hit die, you can I can essentially track some a specific person up to five miles, as long as you have an object of theirs, correct? Um, it's your sanguine yes. scent, right? That's what it starts oh, as. Oh, it's an increase to 120 feet and you no longer need access cool. to a creature's possession to track it. Oh, but if I've spent, spent five minutes within it. No. Mm-hmm. Within 30 feet, yeah, we have no idea. Unless we have spent five minutes within 30 feet of him, if he was within 30 feet of us, he probably wouldn't have been when we were on the ferry. He was somewhere else. So then what did I boat. need to roll? Perception? Survival. Survival. 22. Oh, same. Very good. Nice. Okay. So you two would know uh, how to track him. <clears throat> um, Cause we'll have the cloak you are able to find very small traces of like a person being through this area. Um, so as you continue tracking him, you spend quite a few minutes like tracking and getting closer, racing through the forest, trying to find this person. Um, and again, fast as fuck, boy. Okay, go ahead and make another dexterity save. Go. Ninety feet <laughs> with a dash. Damn. Fifteen. I think I 16. saved this one. Eighteen. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Save. Save. You guys have the extra D4, so don't forget it for Bless. Uh, yeah. I okay. don't need it. I'm good. Uh, yeah, D4, I don't think it's going to save her ass. <laughs> uh, that's 20. Plus 4, 11. Doesn't save. You take another 10 points of piercing damage as an arrow comes crashing through the branches and like slams, like pierces through your thigh and like right in between your legs. Uh, oh. mm. Yes. Got Did it. I take damage from the first hit? Because you never said. Yes, ten. you would have taken 10, 10 points of damage. Okay. My bad. Just, Sorry. Twenty six. Mm-hmm. To, s- to dex. Dodge. Yeah, you save. You save. Mirage was the only one that failed. Uh, apart it. from Ambrose, oh, we're good on it. Ambrose also fails. No, Damn. Boogie. No, my boogie. Oh shit! I forgot like my spell for. Okay, an uh, arrow comes through <clears> and <throat> like. Uh, like slices through Ambrose's side and leaves a pretty big wound in him. Uh, okay, and as you guys continue closer, you see more and more tracks, like heavy tracks of someone being through here. There are heavy and large footprints. Um, like you would assume, at least Ornan, you would be able to know, this guy is either like a big orc or Goliath in size, maybe even Warforged. That's oh. how deep and heavy these footprints are, is how big they are. Um, no, and that concerns me. I was expecting a little guy that would like hit off in the distance. No, and, and like, these these arrows are big too. Like these are javelin like, sized arrows. Um, oh, so, probably a Goliath. continuing through, um, oh, that'll be fun. I need everyone to make a perception check. 
Or okay, hold on. Actually, are you guys? You guys are running like chasing him. Fast as fast as fuck. Okay. For those who are leading a charge, run. which I'm assuming you two are, so just you two for this one, make a perception check with disadvantage. Okay. With disadvantage? Yes, because you are running. I'll let you go first. Come on, it's like a six. It's a natural one Jesus. versus an 18. Natural one for you, and what was yours? Uh, uh, six. 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 Okay, so Ornan, as you are running through the forest, um, let's see if it hits. Oh. Ah. Yeah, that does. Um, okay. You take seven points of damage as you are running through, and you step down, you hear <laughs> as this Bye. piercing pain rips through your calf. As you look down, you see a bear trap as just. <laughs> Locked in his jaws. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, Macau, you see Orin just kind of stop it. He like lurches forward and brings his brings his body back and then down, and you see that he's trapped in a bear trap. You need help? Do we yeah? Fuck! Okay, <laughs> I go. Okay, I I climb the nearest fucking tree and I start <laughs> through the tree. <laughs> Acrobatics check, yeah. Please! Lower the DC. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Lower the right. Listen, I never said I couldn't be bribed. It has worked. It has worked. <laughs> <laughs> From experience. Hold on. What do you want? What, what do you want? What do you want? I'm going to the store right now. Wow. Hold, Hold on. You want to smell good? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Dio one Wait. and I'll make it happen. Give me the what? Dio. The Dio. Oh, I don't have it on me. Ah! You want a Tic Tac? <laughs> yes. Will that work? <laughs> Take a Tic Tac. Will it work? Yeah. Yes! You know what? You know what? I'll sweeten the pot a little. I'll sweeten the pot. Oh shit. Oh yeah. shit. Three Tic Tacs. Look at that. Anybody else want a no. tic tac? Minty fucking fresh, dude. You want a tic tac? I gotta earn it. Thank you, though. <laughs> you already earned it. Can I get shot twice? I'm looking with an arrow in my leg. All right, so. I got a are, fucking bear trap in my leg. I don't deserve this tic tac. You are right, able to. Bear trap. <laughs> you are able to monkey your way through the trees. Snap, 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 snap. Very good. All right, so, rest of you, what are you doing to help Ornan? <laughs> Trying to just. Force the yeah, I'm also trying trap. to like yeah. force it fucking open. Okay, okay. both you can make force on the bottom. It'll um, you can either <laughs> one person strength check with advantage, or both of you roll strength checks. Hey, uh, make it strength check with advantage. <laughs> well, I also could have added my d4 on that. And but... you have bless, yes. Brook bond spelled brook bond. 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 Without a d. No d. Oh, I had it right. No shit. Brook bond. Oh. I did b a u n. I have an understanding. You know, I, I, I like yeah. where your head is at because I would have spelled it like that, but no. <laughs> no. But Sorry, no. I forgot that I, I, I had a to spell like that. fucking huge strength oh, saving throw bonus. Yeah. Well, a 24. Check. <laughs> yeah. You fucking rip this thing off its goddamn <laughs> hinges. You just break the bear trap in total. And I just King throw Kong it against the fucking you. tree. Okay. King Kong with the T Rex just. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> And then I, I want to take a moment and try to focus back in on the tracks. Or find where the tracks were. You have an item. Huh? An item? The bear trap. He would have said it. Would he have? We don't know for Can certain. Can I just oh. like... I'm just... You have to, don't you have to take like five minutes though for oh, it? Oh, I think you do have to take a... Is yeah. it five minutes? Hold on. Jeez. Hold on. Hold on. This one's first. That's for blood. Yeah, that's for blood specifically. And you have to... Yeah, five minutes within 30 feet. It says you no longer need possession. I don't need possession, but I need to be around the creature. Yeah. If you know the creature you're looking for and have access to one of its possessions, you can focus solely on that target. While focused, you can't use, detect any other creature and make a wisdom survival check 
to quarry and the creature. Sorry, when you would make a, a survival check, instead, your quarry makes a wisdom saving throw. Which is... Eight plus your pro plus your con. I don't know what your con is. So that's 11 plus something. Fucking critical. That, that what? It's... It's a 14. With some saving throw of what it would need. If that is indeed his bear trap. So what I'm saying on his part? Yep. Instead of on the track. What's the DC? Part. 14? Yeah. Yes, DC is 14. It's a natural 16 on his part. Damn. Fuck. I say fuck it and I throw it and I try to find the tracks. Okay. <clears throat> You're easily able to find the tracks again as they're pretty heavy in this part. I'm just I'm pulling on my hand. I'm just like. <laughs> yeah. You guys both or all of you guys continue running east towards this um, this Toth Nil. Um, I'm fuck him up. Okay. He just jumped you out guys of are traveling <gasps> pretty far away, and you would still hear Fuck. like arrows coming in. So, you guys uh, continue running. Um, Mikhail, you don't have to make a check, but Ornan, you're going to have to if you're leading the pack. I need you to make a same as above. Another perception check. Don't Disadvantage if you're running. Don't forget your glass. Fourteen. Fourteen saves for this one. Ooh, As no. you begin nice. running, you would clearly see that someone has made like a pitfall trap in front of you, and you kind of like. To a, to a stop, and you like skirt around it and keep going. Okay. Okay. Rest of you would see Ornan do that and would be able to avoid the pitfall trap as well. Yep. You're um, giving stitch energy. Okay, Macau, make another dexterity saving throw as. Give him another tic tac. Macau in the trees. Give oh, him God. another tic tac. How much do you like tic tacs? Roll! That's not gonna work twice. Fuck. Yeah. You can, can only buy so many times. I'm such a fool. I should have bought the Appy Juice. I oh. forgot about the Appy Juice. Damn. Damn. I'm so sorry. Damn. That would have been like Hold next on, Tuesday, can... I promise. Okay. Hold on. And if I consume all of it, I will go buy more. <laughs> <laughs> can I just buy it? Just that's it's not gonna work. work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. That is so funny. It's an acrobatics check, like the best uh, thing you have 25. in your arsenal. Yeah, that totally works. Oh. Um, Arrow dexterity saving throw? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so so arrow comes back. flying down and like breaks the branches in front of you, but you were able to like jump and like twist, dodge out of the way as arrow goes. Hell yeah. Um, barely missing you. <laughs> yeah, and you keep going. Um, okay, rest of you, another dexterity saving throw as arrows. I want you to roll first. I fail. Can I use one of my key points to do step of the wind and dash also as a bonus action to get even further um, out. to try to find this fucker sooner so he'll stop sure. shooting? Okay, then I use step of the wind so I have, okay. so that's 45, 45 for a normal dash oh. and then another 45. That's very far. Though. Very far. What, cool. what are you at hit point wise? 29. I rolled a 12. Out of Fast. out of how many? Uh, twenty nine out of forty nine. I got hit by the rain toss. <laughs> Deflect missiles. If don't forget, I can't see them though, so I wouldn't be able to throw it back. Would I be We're not able, able to see to... the massive javelins? No, him. I can't see him. You don't have Would to throw it I back. Be able to you can just deflect it for no damage. Deck save to try to push Mirage out of the way, and then use my ring of evasion to pass uh, my clever. Sure. Badass. Okay. I'll just take the damage. Now. If I make a decision for the when I fail, can I still use deflect missile as a reaction? Okay. So yeah. you can. But I'm gonna use my. A saving throw isn't a reaction. That works. Yeah. 
for those of you who that failed. That was the one. I'm so sorry. I wasn't able fun. to save your ass. It was a cool idea. For those who failed, oh, 10 piercing damage. Ambrose this time saves. Um, Is this how I die? Okay. No. So, wait, no. So that was the third volley of arrows. Right? Mm-hmm. So I'm at 19. So, continuing on, uh, Macau, you... <laughs> I start the like, trees. like I find weak branches. They can like pull me forward. I'm just like fucking. Okay, yeah. So I'm going. So as you continue traveling, like essentially at the end of this round, you would Remember burst you through like this potions. tree line until you're out in the open, and you see him. Let me pull up his character description. I forgot what he looks like. Ah! <laughs> Reasonable. Also, the this dragon looks like Spearbiter. Kind of. Oh, it kind of does. Now I'm sad. Thank you. You said that last time. No, because I was like, what if we had a purple one? And I forgot that I had grabbed like the purple, like iridescent mm. one. My uh, my little guy is at home, and I'm sad about it. <gasps> oh my <gasps> god! I fucking killed him. <laughs> uh, mine's name. I can't is... believe Spearbiter's <laughs> dead again. Twice. Dead round two. Okay, so. Thank you. What you would see is a humanoid figure completely covered in this like metal armor, like bronze metal armor. This guy looks big. I'm talking like big torso, big legs, big chest, big head, huge. This guy, if you, if this guy is a Goliath, He's on the big end of Goliath. Um, you see the bow he's wielding is like a reinforced longbow, if that makes sense. But you okay. see he has like javelins that are stuck in the ground beside him. And what he does is he like pulls back the bow and then he like stomps his feet and then just like swoops the javelin and like fires them off in like one swift motion. What Almost like fuck? he controls like the air around him to like um, the like the um, the arrow like or bow string that he has is like is thick as well. It's like straight steel fiber. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so like it's a huge ass bow, a big ass guy. Essentially he has this like helmet on that almost looks like a warforged helmet. It is like tall and rectangular. You see like a triangular like bit that yeah. he can like look out of. Um, he's got big like double plated like plate mail shoulder pauldrons. Dude, this guy's um, gonna be plate mail it. armor on his chest and I legs uh all. covered by like pieces of like tattered leather um and yeah big guy uh, underneath you would see like uh, chain mail as well like this guy is heavily reinforced in armor and then as you come like crashing eyes. through you see him let loose another javelin and he like looks down at you and he like puts away his big bow and he takes out like a smaller like long bow and then with arrows on his side just starts <laughs> Just starts releasing arrows at you. Time um, to deflect missiles. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You guys would hear one more like arrow sized uh, or javelin sized arrow just <laughs> crash near you guys as you continue on. Um, Ornan, are you continuing to run? Yes. Okay. Uh, you need to make one more perception check with disadvantage. Still have bless. Well, I'm like our fourth round, so it will not last much longer. <sighs> Thirteen. That fails. Shit. Does a sixteen hit you? Weak speeds. Okay. Couldn't have been me. You take five points of damage as you start running through. Um, you trigger a trip wire and you hear <laughs> as crossbow bolts come flying out of the forest and pierce your chest. You're just watching Ornan get the <laughs> beat the fuck up in front of you. Yeah. But after that, that's all that's left. The traps, Ornan, you continue moving on. You exit the tree line, the rest of you too, to see Macau and this 
big, heavily plate mailed um, Goliath of a figure going at it with Macau. So, Macau, you jump out of the trees with these arrows flying at you. Um, so he's going to make an attack. That's just not going to hit you at all. So Amazing. So those arrows just fly right past you. And he, like, takes his <laughs> takes his stance to continue what? shooting more. So what are you doing? Um... Hmm. Kick his ass. I'm trying to decide. If I can get. Huh. Okay. How far away from me would you say he is? At least 30 feet. Okay. I would like to book it towards him. Okay. And attempt to clamber up his torso towards his head. Because mm-hmm. I want to shove something into his helmet. Sure. Take one of the arrows off the ground and shove it into his helmet. And so I'm just not sure. Make a grapple check against him to clamber up him. Or remind me how to do grappling because that's not you my You are pick. making an athletics check to try to maneuver uh, up him while, yeah, yeah, while athletic, he doesn't yeah. throw you off. Okay. Only oh. to escape can it be athletics or acrobatics. Oh. Nine. Six. Oh! <laughs> so as you like run towards him, he takes his longbow and he tries to like swipe at you, but you're able to like climb up him and he's trying to like push you off. It's just not enough. So what are you doing? I would like to take the last vial of dragon spice that I have <laughs> and just push it into his fucking helmet where the dragon is <laughs> and blind sure. him. Okay, M- at least an, temporarily. Make an attack roll. With advantage. Okay. <gasps> Fucking Jamie. Dude, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Let's, uh. Would this just be a regular unarmed strike or would this. Yeah. Okay, so then that's 21. That hits. Okay. Um, and I shove that shit in there, and I'm okay. upset about it because do I'm gonna attack, it. do damage with an unarmed strike against him. Okay. Um. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay. Add a one d six for fire damage. Okay. <laughs> and then there's glass. <laughs> that's that's no fun for anyone. All right, so you clamor up this behemoth of a man. And it's take, nice to meet you! <laughs> you just hear, oh, fuck the oh, fuck! <laughs> and you shove the dragon spice in him, and then he immediately just kind of like brings his hands up and swipes you off him before he like stamps back. He drops his bow and arrow and just, oh, 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 what the fuck is that? What did you do? Oh. Nice. Okay. The rest of you oh, will see this as Mikhail's like <sighs> sliding on the ground. This guy is just screaming for his life, hands over his head. Just. I think he likes spicy things. <laughs> My face, it stiffens. It burns. Can I try to. Top of the behemoth. Yeah, I'm gonna. I would like to. Like. Like run and like spider <laughs> this man to try to topple him over. Sure, if you're trying to push him to the ground, it's a grapple check. Yeah. Okay. Athletics. Off. Yep. With advantage with him, just. Uh, he's considered blinded, so. I don't know what that condition does. Attack rolls against you have advantage, so yes. yes. How are you guys this bad at rolling dice? It was like... Oh, I don't doubt it. 21. And 22? 
it was like trying to decide if it was Connor. Oh, against was his? Sitting there and leaning. Against his 18, so yeah, you push him to the ground, he just. <laughs> oh, rope! Rope someone! I have rope. I have to heal people, fuckers. I have rope! La 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 la! Okay. You guys are fucking injured, so. I have to fulfill my duty. All right, so what are you guys doing? He's I just on the ground. I guess we're tying the fucker up. Okay. Um. I want to, if his bow or, like, arrows or javelins are anywhere within mm-hmm. distance, I want to, like, try to, like, kick him away. I'll give you okay. the rope and I'll start just fucking chucking yeah, his shit Yeah, just chuck his shit off. Okay. Chuck his good. shit off? <laughs> guys. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Mean. So, so I'm going to attempt to time up. To make a survival check to time up. Um, he is going to try to break grapple. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Oh. 15? Well, he rolled a natural 20, so as you go to, like, tie him up, he just swipes you away and, like, stands up, and he just, like, one face over his, like, metal helmet, he just... (sighs) Nice to finally meet you. Fuck you. How did you even find me? Oh, that's so sweet when you leave your scent everywhere. Fuck. He just like brings up his fists. He just has no other weapons on him. I can get down with this. Let's fucking go, buddy. I'll kill you right here and now. Come on. Okay, sick. Come on. Oh, you had to bring him up. (laughs) Ward Bo's just like. I touch a soft spot, huh? Come on! Not the soft spot, but it gets the, uh, the blood boiling. Ew. He's the one who said soft spot first. Have we can do enough. I can take you. What the pussy? What the fuck? What are you guys doing? I, I would like to cast Cure Wounds at second level in Mirage. Okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Been waiting for a moment to say that. Thank you, buddy. Uh, hey, Mirage, uh, master of weak points. Yeah. Please. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Hmm? Uh, 17 HP. You are healed. Oh, Thank you. That's more than half the damn blades. I think that means we have to 36. Yeah, so, uh, what? 36. Fuck, I lost you yeah. 36. You two genuinely are a disaster today. <laughs> when are we not? Okay, flying through spell slots today. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I can get his. Master of weak point. I'm on it. Now I wanna, because it's a meta magic skill. Like, I'm, so I'll do a silent spell for magic missiles. Okay. And I'll have those go right into the fucking empty face cavity. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. Um. Two. The way that mm-hmm. those all just. Six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven force damage to the face. Yeah, as he like brings up his fist, he's just. <laughs> and just Silently, yes, yeah. silently just, <laughs> just boom. He's gonna like slam back and he stands back up, readying his position. Yeah. Fuck. So, you know, eyes of the guardian. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so. See if he has any other weak points except for his face. Uh, there's a spot you can twist. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Oh There's a spot you can grab God. and twist. <laughs> I heard it. You go by the good old phrase. Uh, dick. Dick twist. The dick twist. Oh, shit, go? There it is. Um, it's an ancient mod technique <laughs> of grab and twist. The grab and dick. twist. We invented the lock and key from the sage. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so... Seemingly, this guy doesn't have any weak points, but Ugh. barely in like the 
parts where like on his like armpits and like in between his legs are where his weak spots are because that's where the armor is the weakest. Mm. Okay. The joining that's, parts. It's, yeah. yeah, that's really hard to get your fucking elbow. Yeah. So, who are you giving advantage to? Uh, hmm. so you could already relic, relic, relicless. Yeah, you, you <laughs> already have like free advantage. I do. And you already roll really high. Mm. Yeah, so I'll get, I'll get I it. tried. I'll, I'll give it to Mickey. Mickey. To Mickey D. Go for the armpits. Mickey D's nuts. Sorry. The joints in the armor are weak. Why are you like this? <laughs> Mikhail, the, the joints in the armor here, here, here are weakest. Got it. Thank you. God fucking damn the 2024 stupid ass piece of shit. I thought you said God fucking damn it tweak ass. Oh, and I was like, that is also what I thought. I also heard that. God fucking God damn it damn tweak it, ass. Twink ass. Glad they were all on the same page. Well, book time. Me whenever the trickster appears. God damn it, tweak ass. I can't even be mad when the trickster appears. That's the worst I, part. I can be mad. I will. Why? It's very easy for me to be mad when the trickster appears. What trickster? And uh, everybody like. Uh, he pisses me off. Uh, Rocker He's killer. Very difficult to go Where against for me personally. Is. I don't know how the fuck he works. I kind of do because I've seen you on play. Yeah, I have to. I just don't know how the fuck to like combat most of the. I haven't figured it out yet because usually I'm not paying attention. I'm running around in terror. Because yeah, I'm like, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm not expecting to win. So I'm just having a good time because he's pretty. Yeah, he's very pretty. No matter what skin he's got, he's gorgeous. He got. I give him a switch. No, you don't. Last time. How was your no, toilet Jamie, doing? No, Jamie, I'm not coming. It's fine. Boy, you have to go it. <laughs> I'm peeing. Pause. 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 Did I spit on you? No, there's a bug. Oh, go. <laughs> God, I. Oh, I fucking hate D and D Beyond now. Yep. Where's the coast, you pieces of shit? Cause now I can't even I can't look up anything without it directing me to the 2024 handbook, not the 2014 one. Believe it or not, mm-hmm. this episode is not sponsored by. Fuck you, Wizard of the Coast! You stupid. Fun cut that part out. Cut that part out. Don't. Okay, don't cut that part. out. It's funnier. <laughs> uh, we hate wizards in this house. Uh, wizards of the coast. They are honestly yeah. lizards. <laughs> I like lizards. Yeah. Which lizards is of the coast. I do like lizards. No, they're not lizards. Oh, should I? I just, I just need mongrel folk. Mongrel intruders. No, it doesn't roll nicely but... off the top. <coughs> Skizzards of the coast. The they're, it. they're the gizzards of the, the coast. Gizzards of the. The gizzards of the coast. <laughs> That's pretty King good. Gizzard and the lizard wizard. King Gizzard. King Gizzard. Okay, thank you. Gizzard. Yeah. I actually have one of their albums. Yeah. <laughs> gizzard. Fucking love them. Gizzard. Kong. Which one did I Giz- get? Uh, Nonagon Infinity. Huh. I, I actually haven't listened to any of them. I just know really? the, the name. They're fun. They're weird, yeah. but they're fun. Yeah. I figured they would be. They would be. Yeah. Uh, if, the, if your band's name is King Lizard, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards. Wizard, yeah. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizards? Yeah. yeah. Yes. They're a weird band and we love them. There's a bit of mm-hmm. I know that much, at least. Message. Oh my god. Stop it. I can't. I'm stuck. Oh. Whoa. Interesting. Do you want to play a fun little game, Jamie? Hmm. Oh, hmm. oh, but that's by magic. This is not by magic. What is that? Okay. So. Oh. Yeah, you can discern the weak spots of this creature. And now, who has advantage? Mikal. Mikal has advantage. Very Vicky good. Vicky no. Nuts. Okay. Oh so, what are you doing now? We what are you guys doing? Five. Oh, is he just standing up now? Yeah, he's going to make an attack if you guys aren't. Uh, uh, are um, we in initiative? Or? Did we get Before like a we get in the initiative, I want to use Bastion of Law. Just one sorcery point. Very good. Just to give myself my, my, my cloak. Okay. Yeah. 
your cloak. All right. So I guess yeah, now we'll go into D8. initiative. So go yeah, ahead and how roll. How many sorcery points I use, and when I get attacked, I roll one of those dice and reduce the damage by that much. Let's get. Yeah, I, I could give it to anyone. I want the yeah. hit him. I could just be like touch. Um. Yeah. You know, don't roll initiative. You guys go first. Oh, understood. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I don't like that. Desire, desire. Desire, desire. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing that the back of the knees would be one of the weak points. I was an adventurer like he once. Did you, he is damaged. He's like armpit region. Yes. Like but in order to like throat. move oh, yeah. properly. <laughs> Is Natural like 20. Knees, uh, oh. like Fuck. crotch. I don't do anything. Okay. As usual. He went from a one it's to a, a natural Fuck. 20. Okay. Just hit him again. Would you say that like the back of the knees would also be a weak point in order to move properly? Sure. That is typically yeah, a weak point in really any armor. armor knees very well. Yeah, knees. any joint that you have, there's going to be a weak point around it. Yeah. I'm going to try to go for the fucking back of his knees. Except so your neck. Your neck is typically very armored. Mm-hmm. Because you've got the coif, typically. 19. That hits? I'm going to do it again. Okay. Fuck the other knee. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to sweep both knees. Go ahead and fuck the Natural 20. Sweep. Yeah. That hits? Oh, man. Fuck. Okay. It can be extra protected. Angry hit. And the helmet goes in the coif. Extra protection. Mm-hmm. Savage. And technically, that other one was not a natural 20. My bad. I did the wrong yeah. addition. I'm not even in rage. This is so sad. <gasps> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You didn't need those legs, right? <laughs> It'd be silly. Yeah, he uses range attacks. <laughs> Prosthetic limbs exist. Yeah. Uh, 27 damage to the back of his fucking knees. Jeez. Jeez. Explode his knees. We're just blowing his knee out. <laughs> Literally. I went, that's so funny, you can't run away. Yeah. Boom. Kneel. <laughs> Kneel before me. So, one of his legs come clean off. <laughs> yes. You cleave through and just and he just poof, collapses his sinus, ah! just like lets out this horrified <laughs> scream of pain. <laughs> um, at that point, um, okay, we're gonna... <laughs> yeah, okay. So Did after you right cleave after off one of his um, like fucking knees, um, he like collapses to the ground and then brings up his hand and just, please, I, stop, stop, I don't want to die, not here. Also, now he wants to talk now, this is great. He starts like scraping his way no, back. No, just... no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to offer? Time up, do we time up? Just hold on. What do you want, what do you want? Knowledge. And also maybe for you to stop trying to fucking kill us all the time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that would be fucking great. We want the same thing you want right now. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Wait, what do you like, want to know? In swoon. Never mind. Where is Amberster at this point? Celia. <laughs> Already? Yes. And Kasich. With Amberster. Who are the rest of your buddies? Sin. She is. For a wife and near the sauna I see. I heard she. She's there looking for something. Sin in what? Sin in for wife and. That's her full name? No, in. In. in for wife and. The for town of for wife and. Sin, uh, sin is in for wife and? Sin is in for wife and. Okay. Have any idea what she's looking for? I was told some sort of artifact. That's all. For 
Ambrister or for Kesek? For Ambrister. Mm, okay. Kesek has a different plan. Yes, I know about this. You know. Then why are you here? I don't know how to spell for what. This slow us down. Aerial support, if you will. I was supposed to make my way towards Sin, but it looks like I won't be making it after all. Because no, like no. you ran into us and decided to aggravate us? I tried stopping you, or slowing you down, as if you will. Uh, to me, it looks like you're the We just took now. down the clown, and this is your decision? To come at us yeah, alone? Your, your fucking buddy's, like, dead. So it seems. You want to join him? Because I can make that happen quite easily. He did just say he doesn't want to die. Yeah, let's not that. stop. Um, I do have a question. Do you know anything else? Um, we got a bit out of your uh, goofy dress up friend, <clears throat> but I'm curious if you know anything in regards to the whole case, six secret plan against you know, Kyori and all that uh, under him. Um, for divine parts of the biosphere or. Uh, a Chief Newman, what that means? I've only heard a little about this. The rest who are actually sent to find these artifacts know a lot more than I do. I do know that Kasich and Ambrister both are trying to achieve Newman. Okay. The four artifacts. Apparently, combining them, you achieve a divine body equal to that of a god. Okay. And Kasich, with his vesiculums, Plans to overthrow the gods. Kasich has multiple vesiculums? Yes. Which he has ones? taken several from the ones in Lothmanger. The other, uh, Flux Weavers? Yes. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We were teleported away from Lothmanger just before it was plunged into chaos. How many does he have now, then? Okay. Three, well. maybe. <laughs> Which leg is it? My left one. Hmm. The twins. <laughs> Do not compare me to the likes of you. I take that as a compliment, but okay. So why do you choose to provide aerial support? You've clearly got the body for up front. My skills has always been with a bow. And when I was brought back, Kasich provided me with these gifts. Mm. The body? The body. The bow. The arrows. All of it. I am indebted to him. Should we just kill Do we want to pay off your debt today? Allow me to live, it would be greatly appreciated. That's not what I mean. Hey, I don't really think that's uh, that's in the cards right now, buddy. You, I gave you information. I gave you what you wanted. And every single time we see one of you fucks, you try to kill us. Letting you live is our ticket to our own demise. And I'm already one foot in the grave. So are you. <sighs> ah, get missing a foot even. I have not. He begins to reach back for something. I've come this Stop far. Him. <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll. I'm punching him in he the fucking face. He holds a syringe up in the air. I am punching the fuck out of his face. If you want to knock that shit out of Hold his hands. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to knock the shit out of his hands. Go ahead and make an attack roll. I'm going to take it. I'm going to... Where are my spells? <laughs> mm-hmm. There's no way I'm gonna be able to hit him, but you might be able to get the thing out of his hand. 23 to knock the shit out of his hands, and I hope it fucking shatters everywhere. Yeah. How are you hitting him? Axe to the hand? Yeah. Okay. Just a fucking. Yeah. You. with the pommel of it? Yeah, we'll turn it sideways just to like smack. Why? He's got armor. You just rolled a 23 to hit. We'll 
go. We'll go for trying to chop the hand off. And glove armor is not attached to the arm armor. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that. You cleave off his hand, and the syringe in it goes flying off along with his hand. He lets out another scream as he brings it down, grasping it. Blood is just. I'm gonna walk over. And I'm gonna step on the syringe. Why would you do that? You break it. it. Fuck. Right. Okay. <laughs> you step on the syringe and it just shatters. Fuck. Sorry. Okay. So, what that are you doing? He is just bad. screaming out in pain now, just. <laughs> what information do we want out of this guy? Is there anything else we want out of him? Anything else that we want out of him? What are you. What's dumb to you to make you like this? I was brought back. Through that! And he like nods the way towards the serum yeah. that um, Ornan just stepped on. So you were dead? Yes. And you're grateful to be back from the dead. A second chance at life? Of course. This is not life that you and have. I'm grateful for the one who brought me back. This is an entrance. And the I hope when he stares at you when you are on the ground gasping for air with your final breath mm. and he's the last thing you see. Mm. Any other nasty little surprises for us on our way to Vosalia? Many. What's next, Dillweed? <laughs> you have no idea what the other ones are capable of. At this point, I'm becoming less and less worried when your limbs fall off like butter. <laughs> Can I try something? Sure. Cool. I want to go over to a ship. Mm-hmm. I want to grab like the front of his armor, mm-hmm. wherever he's at, and I want to step on his wrist with a hand came <laughs> And I want to do my fucking hour of breathing thing. Okay. And I want to just, over the top of him, just glowering down at him. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he needs to... He does, but I will make it so he doesn't have to roll anything. (laughs) So what is it? What is it like? What happens? Um, So I will, at the same time that I grab and pull, that's when I step down. So it adds a little extra force onto the ouchie place. Um, and I will like that thing that you see in anime when a character's about to lose their fucking shit and their eyes are super wide and they're just staring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He asked you a question. Detailed answers would be appreciated. Speak! Sin is looking for the artifact of the Sonoray Sea. Her power is that of the disease she died of. She can control it now, mm-hmm. like an infection. Mm-hmm. We've seen it firsthand. You want to give us anything new? You think I know everything? I've only seen portions of what she can do. She can turn the ground into this yes, nasty infection. Yes, yes, yes. I've even heard she can turn people on her own side, infecting their minds, turning them into her servants. How do we fuck her up? I don't know. Only Kasich would have that information, you dog. Oh, that was the wrong fucking word. (sighs) Do we still need this man alive? I don't think so. No. I don't need him. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Snap his fucking head. <sighs> Told you it was the wrong word. Let's get out of here. Holy shit. Let's just fucking leave. So what, we got Moreth and Sin left? Yep, and we already tried to kill Moreth once. Yeah. Fuck us. He'll be the last one. Oh, we should guarantee. Have... You know what? When we get sin, we'll ask her about the yeah. rest. Sorry. No, it's a... you're fine. You're. We're making it bad. through. 
My god, that was deserved. It's fine. Yeah, that piece of shit. No, no it, hey, it I'm happens. the one who broke the fucking syringe also. Well, oh, you know where it, we have to go. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, Sin probably has some. Yeah, Sin's got answers. He's, Kasich's got that shit in groves, apparently. He's got fucking wine caskets. We, we need to, yeah, we, gotta go. we need to go. If they're already in Ocelia. We yeah. need to fuck, fuck. We need to book it. It's already too late. It's, they're already in Ocelia. Let's, See if we can reduce the well, damage. They're still looking for shit, though, which yes. means that they can't achieve what they're trying to achieve in Ocelia yet. They're probably just there waiting it out, they're trying to get their for artifacts. the area to get the artifacts so they can do whatever the fuck they're trying to do. I would like to know that feasibly, as we collect these artifacts, we are just delivering them into their hands. So we destroy them then. I don't know if that's a good idea. Neither is. Them to Ocelia. I know. So. I think it may be wise to commune, see what the others say. We just, um. As they would know best as to the strength of some of these items in the hands of someone like Hamburster. The others, as in. The gods. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, that was just really casual. Um, I speak to them a lot. Yeah. Or we do something kind of stupid. We don't destroy them and we don't take them. We just avoid those silly like the like the plague, if you'll excuse me. But we just don't I go, don't, and then they don't have them. And then I if they come think, for us, we fuck them up. I don't think that's. The right I have choice. a feeling that even without the items, Amberster would find a way. Yeah. Considering his initial idea was just a nuclear explosion of yeah. fucking magic. Yeah. Darren knows about nuclear engineering, I guess. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> Cannon. Is there anything of note on the top note? Yeah, does it give anything interesting besides that syringe that we chattered? The syringe and the massive bow that he was carrying were really the only things he had on him. He didn't have like a bag or any additional traps. This motherfucker put all of his shit into finding us one time. Can I... Dumb take bitch. Take off. Make a strength check. Can I assist? Sure. Oh no. I don't like that. I'll help. I just I'm, don't like I'm helping. that. I just don't like that. You should not be the one helping. You should be the one doing. Yeah, you should be the one I'll doing. I'll do it. You I assist. I will help you. Natural 20. Amazing. I don't need it. I help really quickly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a 27 on strength check. Extra good help. You begin to pull on the helmet, and it's just not coming off, so you tug more and more and more until you hear. Oh, he was fucking attached to that shit. That helmet was grafted into him, and so you essentially just tore this guy's head off. Oh. Uh, oh. Don't, don't look. Um, don't look. I'm so not- stuck. You hold up the head and it's just like blood ripping down, like the spinal cords just detached. Just drop that. That's is there a mm. clip? Like, is there like just? Can I just? Whoo. Sure. I just go. Oh, what? Huh. Oh. Add that to the bucket list of whatever the fuck today is. Sometimes I really don't know my own strength. I did not mean to tear the guy's head off. You know, it happens. Okay, so I guess fucked up. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is... leaving. What the fuck <sighs> are we up against? Disease. Armor. Literal just walking armor at that point. A clown. And someone who has died and just doesn't. Technically, they all died. I just don't know what the fuck happened. This is just, this is insane. That is just straight up torture at this point, is what Kasich is. I'm certain that. Oh fuck, I'm gonna regret this decision. What? I'm gonna go find his head. You find his head? Like in a bush? Does he have a mouth? The only opening you would see is that like triangular opening, like where his eyes would be. 
but like you don't really see anything in there. It's just kind of he would black. Have been, he was speaking, so I feel like there's blood yeah. in there. Nah. But it's just fucking grafted onto his skin. Mm-hmm. They like look at it and it's just like almost the metal almost seems to be like like one with his skin, but you know like this outer there's like an outer casing and there's something inside. I'm about to fillet o fishes, man. You're about to Lyos living armor this shit. Yeah. I want to I don't really the only thing in this man's entire helmet that I care about is his tongue. Okay. Um. So I want to, whatever it takes necessary, rip his head out. I'll use help too, because I need access to his tongue. Sure. Make a strength check to try to pry off the, the armor from his face. I will help Ornan in doing it. Okay. <laughs> Ornan, can you you guide him in, in his... You've got advantage. So you can do extra good. Ah. 17. Super weird, that feels really 17 is not enough as you try to like pry open you hear it start to like creak just but it's just it's not coming off you can try again this might take some time to do it's possible i'll keep trying okay. yeah 21 21 is enough where you're able to pry off at least half of the arm and you can see um as like the light pours into this Um, this is the head of a Goliath, but it looks like an undead Goliath, where part of his head looks more like a skull than it does an actual head. Um, like you see like a hollowed out eye, part of a skull, and you see a bit of like grayish blue skin off to one side. Uh, you would see like half of a mouth, uh, which seems to be like torn and shredded, like it was at like, uh, at a point of decay almost. You can make another strength check to try to rip off the other half of the helmet. Okay. You still can't access his mouth at this point? Uh, you make a slide of hand check. <laughs> Macau? Can I have your help on this? What do we what are we doing? I need to see if his tongue is marked. I know. You're the, the tongue expert at this point? You just have smaller oh hands than me. I do have quite small hands, okay. Mm. okay. Slide a hand. <laughs> and I... Guidance, because I really can't help in this. It's the same roll twice. And then what did you say? Guidance? Guidance, so I had a d4. Slide of hand, mm-hmm. 22. Yeah, you were able to get your hand in there, pry open his mouth, and you were able to like pull out his tongue. Uh, looking down at it, there is no marking. No cigar. Fuck. I don't think that's how that phrase is supposed to be used. Yeah. <sighs> well, then, what does that mean? I'm just trying to understand. They're very dedicated. I think that the homunculi are, um, as he said, indebted to Kasich, and also it's possible that there's there's two things. Three, they're either indebted, well. uh, they like being alive again, and are terrified of Kasich, and, so, and know that he'll kill them if they don't succeed. Um, or it's like they are indebted and they're like blinded to loyalty. Um, or there's some sort of weird shit he did when he brought them back and made them his playthings and little servants that makes them intrinsically follow him. I don't like any of these options. Me neither. <sighs> it's it's all. Hmm. I really don't like what I'm about to do next. I don't like any of this. I just don't know what, the, what happened and the amount of time. Oh, yeah. 
Can you guys help me? One final thing. What's up? I just need a lot of wood. Huh. <laughs> what kind of wood you talking, Big D? Make a fire. Okay. Are we burning his body? <laughs> yes. Fine by me, but after this, we really have to get to move on. I agree. But I don't want any chance of somebody coming back across his corpse and trying to bring it back. Yeah, and at this point, that soul, as much as I don't like it, deserves rest. Yep. I just start trying to gather firewood. Oh, okay. it's so much kindling. <sighs> you guys would be... Uh, time-wise venturing out into, like, evening. Um, but you were able to find enough wood to have some sort of, like, pyre uh, for the body of Tothnil. Yeah. yeah. And I will do a very brief prayer to Kaiser. Okay. <clears throat> Kaiser, I ask you to please bring this lost soul back to the afterlife Judge him how you will. He made poor choices in his second life. But at the end of the day, all souls deserve rest. Make a religion check with advantage. Okay. Um, where? Well, religion. Religion. Okay. That's not every 20. Hey, yo. On that 20. Huzzah! Okay. You would begin to feel Kaiser's presence manifest before you. It grows a little cold, the air around you. You briefly see for a moment, like in the wind, that red scarf symbolizing Kaiser, kind of drift in the wind. You then hear his voice. Dara. Kaiser. This body that you have performed this sacred ritual for bears no soul. Oh, Jesus. This is what you might call a husk of a body. Life coursed through its veins, but its soul was not there. So, is its soul already in? This one was not found worthy. Okay. Mm. It was brought back not by any magical means. This is some other creation. And in my eyes, an abomination. I agree. There are those that are undead. Those live between life and death. This one almost resembles that of a golem, if you will, with more sentience, more motor functions, the ability to take orders. I mean, it did. It begged for its life. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. Okay. Interesting. I just asked because it seemed to have a semblance of sentience. Like, it cared for its own life. Sure, it was in deference to Kasich and Abrister, but it didn't want to die. I see. 
Its mind was still intact, so therefore it had memories of its past. Its past life, perhaps. Being brought back. Hmm. Perhaps other memories could have been forced into it. I'm not too sure as what its creator has done to it. But this was in no means magical. If so, it would be a bit more understandable. This is an entirely new creation. Perhaps if one of us was still around, she would be able to tell you of this invention. be good to have her well I appreciate your knowledge of course Tara and well at least at this point it can't be brought back easily no I suppose if this thing were to ever come back it would be by the hands of its creator, and whatever was injected into its veins. Yeah. Unfortunately, we lost a sample of it. Well, it's a sample. A sample. Let's cook it up more. <laughs> well. I appreciate your knowledge. Um, we're going to continue onwards because we must reach for a wyvern. Mm. I think that's a decent next destination. I suppose it is. Sin is there. And she likes her diseases. Tread carefully, Dara. I will see you soon. that he turns away and begins to leave and that cold air dissipates. As he leaves, clouds would start to like roll in slowly as a storm begins to brew. Question. Yes. When Dara does God time. Yeah. Does Godman just appear and is just chilling there for everyone to witness or is he the only one that's actually communicating with Godman? He appears. But oh, that makes things wildly different. <laughs> it is Kaiser, so you can't see him, but okay. you can hear him talking oh, to Dara. Okay, cool. That changes things for future. Cool. Every time I go to communion with the gods, I actually succeed. I wonder who else I can summon at this point. Anyway, um, let's move on. The Please. stench of flesh is unpleasant. Yeah. At least get somewhere else to rest for the night. Yeah. We'll get moving quickly, so that way we can escape a storm. Metal and burning flesh really don't make the best of sound. Best of sound, best of smell. Both. It's not the, it's like a wet, crackly pop. Yeah. It's weird. It's not pleasant. Let's yeah, keep going. Right. It's fine. This is not where we want to be, and I would rather be away from that corpse. Yeah. Well, at least it doesn't have a soul. That doesn't make me feel better, actually. Yeah, that's significantly worse. Like, don't get me wrong, it takes the guilt out of killing. But... It doesn't change the fact that that's what we're killing. If it even counts at this point, it's killing. Okay, so let's just get the move on. Yeah, let's keep going. We need to rest. Okay. You guys continue on past the forest, back out into like the open plains, the Scottish Highland-like landscape of the Riftlands. It grows darker with the clouds rolling in, covering the light of Yalor. 
and you begin to hear the sounds of a storm. So. Oh, fuck! Shit. We need to book for cover. I'm about to have a double not good time. <laughs> I'm already emo about the fucking homunculi. Is there any buildings, any caves, anything that we can take shelter under? Sure. Go ahead and make a perception check. Or I'll accept survival if you're trying to look for shelter, whatever you want. Oh, fine. Shit. Okay. So, how old was that? 16? Somebody died. Let's see. Yeah, it was just regular perception. <laughs> yeah, 13. Okay. Very good. Anybody so, else? What? Five. Okay. Ooh. Well, you are too distracted by anything else um so that cloud kind of looks like a pair of tits as it begins to rain and you would hear the distant rumbling of thunder uh you would see kind of like a almost like a stone awning think of almost like pride rock from like lion king kind of thing uh, off in the near distance and it does have like a decent covering for you guys to avoid the like storm and get out of the rain so, if yeah. you want to make your way towards there. Yeah, we'll book it for that. Okay. You guys book it over there, and it is becoming nighttime. So, would you like to set up camp here? Mm-hmm. Yes. So. Okay. I get the most under that fucking thing I possibly can. Yeah, you were able to, like, press yourself up against, like, this kind of, like, grassy, yeah. dirt, like, hill where the rocks are. Okay. Yeah. When we're all actually heading to bed, I'll use that rune from that from a couple of weeks ago. From a couple of days oh, ago. Oh, yeah. Which rune was that one? Oh, oh the, the dome? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Very good. Is there anything you guys would like to do this night? Take watch. Yeah. Okay. This uh, I need to attune. Attune. To the heart. Okay. Very good. That can be done. Um, I am... After hearing that... Dig faces in Ocelia, I am... Worried for your to know. I want to sense his life energy. Sure. Oh. Would you, would you be able to do that for Levi? The Leviathan? Uh, I mean, well, no, no, hell, no, I I don't, we're not well acquainted enough. I don't think that it would. Yeah, I can't really imagine what this Levi looks like. No. All we know is you know, try uh, to something. talk to it. John was like, ah, about it. Yeah, so, know what to that's all for. we know. So. Uh, D20 plus proficiency. Yeah. And charisma. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I was a nap fucking Uno. Oh my god. Nat not Uno. This has been a bad rolling day. God, what the fuck? Collectively, yeah. Uh... Please? Hey, yo. Hey. Okay. T4. Yeah. Yeah. Fine, yeah. Sure. yeah. So, Find your boy. That will do it. Okay, so that Mirage, idea, donkey, that idea. your cogs begin to glow and move. The sound of that machine whirs inside of you. You extend your energy out through the biosphere. You feel your senses, like your eyes, like a hawk resting above you before they shoot out across the land over over a sea, a river, another sea, past land, almost like a dry, barren landscape, up into this massive city where walls extend forever beyond in both direction to these black mountains, over that, these, this red plagued land. But your senses go into the city, winding through streets until you see your to know. He is, Currently, he is wearing a like suit. Oh, I have to find this out. <laughs> you have to build! <laughs> Holes. Holes. Treat. Mm. A little trait that I just do. 
course, you're going to be mean to me like this. Thanks, guys. It's okay, I didn't want to look at me anyway. You just have to act like you don't care, and then it'll show up. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm just like, I didn't even actually want this document to load anyway. Oh, and then wait, it hold on. I know where it's at. It's just in the wrong file. Now, if I could find it. So that point. Ah, 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 ah. Got it. Okay. So, he became a baby for a second. Ah, 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 ah. So, he is covered completely head to toe in armor. He's wearing fitted black plate mail armor with a plate armor protecting their chin and neck, kind of like a neck guard going up. Um, he is wearing a beaked helmet that fits into the armor surrounding the neck. Below the waist, uh, they wear a long black skirt with plate armor over the thigh. Their armor is also imbued um, with some sort of magic that you sense, giving it like an iridescent like shimmer to it. You see that this beaked mask that he has looks like a normal like plague doctor mask. Like, okay. Kind of almost like, yeah. Um, so it's just like a long beaked mask that he's wearing. Mask, not helmet. It is a helmet. It is like a like a plate like dark plate mail helmet that looks like a plague doctor. And he is currently in some sort of like platoon Cooking. with other guards who are like moving around. They don't they don't seem to be like any sort of like in, emer in an emergency, just walking around like patrolling Ocelia. But you see him, you know exactly where he's at, and he is safe. <sighs> And after that, your senses come back to you. Okay, I can rest easily. <laughs> so I guess before I go to bed, I'm gonna crank out some leg lifts and sit-ups because I had fucking donuts earlier. Okay. And you know, I'm about to, you know, when I see when I see the man, I gotta, you know. Make sure the gotta make sure it's all tight. Make sure I'm fucking <laughs> cut. Oh. I take fucking notes. Right. Thirty five <laughs> sessions later. Yeah. Thirty five. It would have been, been, been much later. later. Um, we've seen these fuckers before. We've seen those fuckers when session two on the second of Praxis when we were going to that keep where the the Ashen Lord was mm -hmm. where we got the fir the vesiculum that Ambrose ended up having the knights um, that got crushed the by the giant the knights that got crushed by the hill giant the, with, who was with that elven guy they oh. were wearing beaked helmets oh for their master they needed not a they, good word. it's here once we obtain mm. the vesiculum we leave our master needs it I don't think we like Yordamil, buddy. Oh no! <laughs> we might be making an assumption. Oh, no! We might be making an assumption, but all I'm gonna say oh, is no! I take fucking notes. Oh no! I remember. I remember that side. immediately. You were looking at big comments, and I went, "Hold the fuck <laughs> on!" <laughs> As fast as humanly possible. I was like, that was from the second session, and I started flipping. I even have that note. Two knights in black plate armor, beak fitted helmet, and long black skirt with plate over armor over the thigh. So instead of relief, I'm now like kind of in a weird emotional deadlock. <laughs> oh, fuck. And I just. Oh, two of us are now like. I just quietly do my fucking crunches, my leg lifts, just. It's kind of wired. Are you going to tell Wendy Bundy? She might need to process first. Mm. Anyway. Because uh, we still don't know what that means. As soon as you're all ready, let me know so I can get the hot up. Mm. Um, I, I, I think McCallum needs it more than anyone, so if you could put it up. 
Does, uh, the, um... Yeah. It only lasts for eight hours, so as soon as everyone's ready, we'll go. Does it block out noise? Uh, I don't remember. Or can you just, like, hear everything all the time? You probably can hear that shit. Cool. I can only do so much. It's okay, it's not your fault. It's chill. I'm double checking. It'll be warm and dry in there. You can make a wisdom saving throw. You can definitely take a look outside and see the shit. <laughs> and yeah, sounds. Um, woof. I'm upset. So. No! Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> I don't even remember, what the fuck is his name even? I don't even remember, Ryak? Is that his fucking name, Fear Mage? Fuck you, sorry. The storm grows louder and louder. The rain pelts against the hard stone above you, almost like the rocks are going to crack and fall from the rain. The storm above rages, lightning every few seconds, thunder, rumbling just everywhere infinitely and as you stare out you begin to see the land crack and open just an orange glow erupts from it and it just snakes all the way to you opens up you see hands <laughs> Rising up after you hear the screams of the damned, you just see your face as a giant just <laughs> up from the magma below. It looks down at you, smiling as it cocks its head. A killer! You are a killer! Is there anything you want to do? I'm just trying to breathe. You can make another wisdom saving throw. I'm trying to do the straw method. Why did I breathe it up through a straw? Are we able to see, like, panic attack? Uh oh. (laughs) I rolled a one. Okay. As this thing, like, looms over you, a dark shadow just engulfs you until all you see is black in the face of this giant you just out from this crevasse of just orange magma and the screams of agony and people dying and then around you lightning just um yeah you can definitely see uh, Macau at this point stare, thousand yard stare just sick I've done this before <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm going to come stand, sorry, no, I'm going to come, like, crawl over and just sit in front of you. I'm going to take your hands. I know. Macau. Macau. Look at me. Don't look anywhere else. What's going on? Okay. Mm-hmm. You want to tell me a story? What? Tell me a story. This story what, uh, what kind of story? I don't care. Tell me a story. Okay. Um. Uh. uh I didn't. <laughs> I wasn't the. I wasn't the story person in my family. That that was more my gig. Um, okay. Tell me so, about her. Uh. She is so aggressive. Yeah. Um, okay. I don't, it doesn't even like, I can't even say that it runs in the family or anything because uh, my my dad was pretty chill. Uh, so I don't know why. Yeah, uh, my mom, probably. Okay. Uh, probably a combo of the, I don't know. Um, but uh, <laughs> she did, uh, she did, what the, f- uh, the, the rust running thing. She did that for a while. Um, she worked a lot. So, I usually just was at home, uh, and then would sometimes, um, God, it's loud. Um, <laughs> I would 
tried to get jobs and stuff, uh, but that it never really stuck until later when uh, I got involved in some not good stuff and then, uh, you know, I got involved in worse things and then it got extra bad and then everything was loud all the time. Um, but now I'm here, which is great! It's a step in the right direction. Yep! So... Okay, let's see. <clears throat> How did you first meet Ambrose? <laughs> oh, I don't, uh, I don't know if he's comfortable with me sharing that information. Ambrose, I'm learning things. I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, okay, just don't involve me in any of this. He's like tailoring something right now. So when uh, when I was with the 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 mad dogs working under stress. Um, uh, he wanted me to go and get another one of those arcane tank things because I, I blew up the first one. Um, oh. And did I never tell you about that? No, I knew that. Yeah, no, I blew that one up. That's why. Yeah. That's why there's a huge fucking gash in the. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, did that, but uh, I got. I went to Lothmere to try to get another one. Okay. Um, I saw Kasich there. Got really mad. So I tried to like beat the fuck out of him. So I think I told you a little bit about that. Uh, yeah. I tried to kill him basically. Um, I didn't know if I killed him or not because I got dragged away. I was arrested right. and then they uh, shipped me off to Trudorn, I think. And so I was in Trudorn and then uh, they basically said, you can either fuck around and find out or fix your shit. And I said, what does fuck around and find out mean? And they went, we will kill you. And I said, oh, I don't like that. And so I would like to figure my shit out, please. Uh, and so then they put me in a uh, cell for a really long time. But before that, I was in uh, isolation for quite some time. And that really sucked. Um, not a good time for me, no. personally. You're um, very social. Yes. Uh, me being alone with my thoughts, not good. But then I was in Prodorn and I was there for a while. And then Ambrose showed up thinking that <laughs> thinking he was doing funny, silly, goofy, oh, I'm going to help out type things. Uh, and then he had them like, uh, what was it? Was it, was it your, your sister, your aunt, your cousin? Someone had them sister. sign the thing. I, I remember that. And, uh, and then uh, that's no, how we met. it was met. her niece. Her Close niece. Enough. And, uh, and his niece. And then that's niece. how we, uh, that is, that's how we met. Okay. Why did Straz hire you again after Bob? Uh, because I was really good at killing his people. <laughs> That's so, such a... I mean, if it works. Yeah, he was sending a whole bunch of guys after me, and um, I wasn't ready to go yet, apparently. So any guy he sent, uh, I ne they, they never came back. So... How many bodies did you have to bury? I didn't bury them. I, I you know, I should have seen that coming. Yeah, I just kind of left them. Um, and then, yeah, they like approached me, it was like, you're really good at this. And obviously like, if you can't beat them, join them, but you can join us. And I said, okay. And so you decided to continue with the mad dogs. Yeah. What made you, ah, uh, this might not be the right word. Why did the original tanker explode? If you don't want to tell me, we can. I can ask you a different question. I'm just no, trying to I keep mean, you busy. It's not secretive stuff, just, um, I was trying to prove to Kasich that there was cool magic stuff in ditch and he didn't have to leave and go to Lothmanger and do whatever he wanted to do there he could stay and he didn't have to go anywhere and uh, I was trying to show off to my friends and so I just turned something or pushed so I don't I don't remember much That's fair. Um, and then it blew up and uh, it it uh, made a, a rift storm happen and then uh okay yeah that's enough yeah is that what happened to your leg 
Holy Clean shit. Off. I got the answer out of you. Fuck! Hey, you're a bitch. I'm vulnerable! Yep. <sighs> to be fair, I'm also trying to help you here. Yeah. It's appreciated, I guess. How you feeling? Nauseous. <laughs> That's a fair response. Yeah. No. Lightning sucks. Yeah. Still big and scary out there? Or is it a little bit less scary? Looking out past Dara, it is just normal now. Everything's gotten back to normal. It's just wet. It's an acceptable state of things. I'm shocked you didn't have kids. <laughs> you never like picked that material. What was the goal? Hmm? We were going to. I don't... We got one over there. <laughs> Just sort of born in. He's too old. Yeah, but he counts. He's a baby. I could say the same thing about you sometimes. Okay, yeah, but I'm like uh, in age at least. That's you know, yeah. It's I'm the there's old. no winning here. It's weird. But um. How, how long were you and Elvira together? I don't remember that number by heart. I used to. Where's the timeline? Uh, Twelve years? What year is it? Twelve years? 790. 790, that sounds right. I met her in 773. I was 20. Okay. We married after five years. It wasn't romantic off the bat. It took us a little while. And then we were married for five years. So, ten-ish? Ten and change? We'd known each other for twelve. Ten and change. So, what, what, what do you mean it wasn't romantic right off the bat? The first couple of years, we were just thought we were friends. Some time passed, I kept doing my job, and I realized, I don't know when she did. Who took the lead? Me. Nah. I knew you were one of those. She would have. I can guarantee it. Were you impatient? Was that what it is? Yeah. I had my, I knew what I wanted, and so I made a decision. Was it spooky? <laughs> it was terrifying. Mm. And now, we had a house built in those five years. Yeah, that house still stands. There's a tree that we planted, and, hmm? It was like, I've seen it, right? Yeah, yeah. And now the entire area remains just flooded by her flock of animals. <laughs> she had a way with anything. The next time uh, one of your other friends decides to give you a meeting, Maybe we can try to stick around for it. Say hi. What do you need? There's a lot you can learn from the gods. Oh, I'm talking about... I'm talking about Odira. Oh, um, they, I'm they, not gonna see her for a while. Well, uh, but if, you know, then the next time. Yeah. No. If all goes to plan, I might be able to get her back. Now that would be something. If she's even wanting to come back. I was just gonna say. She may not want to. She might be chilling out there. The mouse. The afterlife could be pleasant, and I will not take it from her. What do you. Like, you. You get married, and then what do you do? You just exist? And I continue doing my job. I served for my laird. 
when I was needed, which wasn't very often. Yeah. It's peaceful. I discovered peace before I discovered actual adventure. Marriage is peaceful? Mm -hmm. mm. It's not always. I was going to say, my upbringing, goodness gracious, no. It depends on how suited everyone is together. Mm. Not all parents are meant to be. Mm. I distracted you. You asked me questions in return because I got information out of you that you never wanted to share. I won't tell anyone. Or we're all sitting in a little bubble. Yeah. The bubble has no, not been bubble. formed. Ah, formed <laughs> collectively. Well, I don't know how long, how long you guys are listening. I found the furthest away corner I possibly could when we got here. I think I'm mostly just um, fucked up about the whole Tothnell thing. Yeah. And just them in general, because uh, it was a long time to not be around Kasich and for both of us to become very different people. Agreed. You went on your own path and he went down a much darker one. Mm. We were on that different Roads were going in the same direction, I think. I'm not denying that. He's fucked. I am. You're better. Less fucked? Mm hmm. He was trying to use the means to justify the ends. You were trying to survive. Mm -hmm. What happened in that time frame? happened. It's okay. Well, I, this is, yeah, I can't imagine. Is it? Is it wrong of me to be mad at him for doing what he's doing and creating these husk things that should be people but aren't when I was no better than him at one point. I was doing just as horrible things. And so... I don't know if that's a fair statement. You saw the pile of corpses he's had. You may have killed a lot, but I don't know if your kill count got that high. Even if it did, there's a difference between killing and what he was doing. He was creating servants out of people. Dead or alive, it doesn't matter. Those were people. And the fact that he does it without their soul. It's not a comparable thing. I don't even know how that works. Neither do I. And unfortunately, Syphix is... Broken. Yeah. Like, I knew he was smart, but fuck. He needs help. I don't think that's a viable option at this point. Probably not. We're too late. I'm just a hopeful person. Should I feel sad about that? No. Which part? That he's just like... Dunzo? Not really. Well... No, I don't think that's a fair statement. Because that's my own bias speaking. Yeah, it's like I grew up with the guy. Yeah, this is... I... 
I couldn't say for certain. But I feel like feeling sad would be reasonable. That someone that you grew up with, I assume respected, if you try to keep him in ditch with you, like, and this is what he's become. A power monger. So feeling sad for him, yes. If it's allowed. It's a God-given right if you were ever given one. I don't want to sound like a fucking edgelord or anything. I think it's just also that at this point, with all the shit that, you know, we've collectively gone through, at least from my end, I am sick and fucking tired of just losing people, you know what I mean? Yes. It's exhausting. If Tafnil didn't go down as easily as he did, we very well could have lost someone. We got lucky. At least for my sake, can you stop being so casual about dying? I can try. Like, I know that, you know, your Eldira is waiting for you. And, like, you've kind of come to terms with everything. Um... I mean, I still preserve my own life. Yeah. You're just so chill about it. It's just how I am in general. You know, I'll go to the ends of the earth to protect you. Mm. And the rest of you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're pretty cool. Thanks. So are you. Leagues greater, I would think. I mean, one of us can turn into a wolf, and the other one of us has a metal leg. I don't know. Hey, this metal leg became a, like a rocket at one point. I wasn't there. You could be lying. Ambrose was there. Ambrose would lie to me. I would not. Shut up, Ambrose. You You're already, not making a point. You already did lie today. Actually, yes, you did. I don't recall. Oh, my... Okay. Yeah, you nearly really killed Ambrose today, today you've, man. You've got a pretty solid alibi, I would like to say. Hey, look at the bruise. There's what no bruise? bruise. <laughs> There's, There's nothing, nothing there. there. There's nothing. Put your clothes back on. That's a first. Uh, yeah, holy shit. Are you one well? Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> like checks. It's like, ooh, yeah, you're, you're burning up. You might want to go lay down. You don't want it like a little... Got a little pack of ice or something? Do you need some tea? Actually hit him this time. Do you need some tea to calm down? No. What the fuck is happening? (laughs) What is happening? Hey, I I responded nicely. It's just like, ah, I have a fever. I'm ready to do the same thing that I almost did. I mean, honestly, just punch him. I. God, he is pretty warm. All three of them. Like. Oh. You've already done that once. Don't do that. Poor man. You're not going to hit him. We, we really uh, did you to, hear what she said? We really no. need to get him down for a Ray, frost your face. Yeah! <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit? <laughs> I can That's hold back. better! I'm, I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry, more you're having blue. Power, power palpitations? Shocking grasp. It's going to become more blue and it's going to be your fault. <laughs> Clear! <laughs> I think... I think, I think Mikhail needs to be put down for a snap. <clears throat> what? <laughs> of all the people that needs to be put down for a nap, I think it's you. I think of all the people that need to be put down. <laughs> what? <laughs> what does that mean? Ambrose, what the hell? <laughs> What's that? Just kidding. Who, who okay. was that for? <laughs> I'm gonna move on. Um, Before before anyone puts anyone down. He needs his nap. He needs his nap! Can we listen to the lady, please? No. (laughs) I'll listen. No, No, I'm listening. (laughs) I'm all ears. What's up? Um, What's up? I kind of wanted to get your guys' input Mm -hmm. on something. Oh, God. Um, What's up? So. Did you have God time? You know, ever since. No, not this time. Okay. Ever since hearing that, you know, the two baddies are in Oselia, I've been 
worried about your Demil. Oh god. Oh, yeah. And is he okay? so I sense his life energy. He is healthy, he is fine, but we'll take it. I am deeply concerned. Oh. What's up? Remember Why? remember back at the beginning of the month, those those guys with like the beat masks. The like Ashen the, Lord? The yeah. Yeah. Wondrous, please? And the yeah, giant, with the, and the, with the giant? Squashed. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah, what, squashed. What, what, so what's up? He is amongst people who adorn that armor and he wears it as well. Sweet Lord. And. Well, that could mean a lot of things. Yeah. But I also remember what they said. Yeah. Well, hey. Remind me what they said because I. I can <laughs> tell you, I have it in my notes. Um. Da, 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 da. There are four figures an elven man, a hill giant, and two knights in full armor with beaked helmets. It's here. Once we obtain the vesiculum, we leave. Our master needs it. And then the giant accidentally killed the elf and the knights. Yep. That was pretty great. <laughs> that was quite funny. And then the Ashen Lord had the fucking... The Vesiculum. Yeah, which was the Vesiculum Dark Eye. Not of this world. An Ashen Lord walks in shadow so that all others may bask in the light. Only the Ashen Lord can unite us under one banner. Those inferior will know their place. I will rule for an eternity. Was the Ashen Lord stuff. But the, the guys specifically were talking about getting the Vesiculum for their master. Yeah. So... I say we ask Yotamil who he works for. Yeah. We just don't say anything about the succulents. Right. Or Ampister Curie. Yeah, we're just here for a religious (laughs) trip. He also might not even know. That is is true. true. He might be completely out of the loop. I mean, at this point, I would be impressed if everyone is still out of the loop as to what's happened on Lothmanger. I'm not talking about that. I just mean... No, I know. The final details, at least. Right. Because there were plenty of people in Lothmanger who didn't know what Amber Sturkiori was even up to with all of his weird schmoozing. Well, yeah, I mean, he was legitimately schmoozing. branding them. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Could he be branded? Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's... F- no, it's fine. But, yeah. We have a Consider method to take everything. care of it. We have a way to take care of it, if so. Yeah. It's not the nicest. No. But, you know, no pain, no gain. But but it's a way. It's a way. It's a solution for now until we can maybe find a better one. We don't need to catastrophize, though. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All we know is that he was with people that wear that armor, and he might be wearing it, and that's fine, and that's <sighs> cool, and it's whatever. It's probably standard for being in Ocelia. Yeah. Given the setting, and... You just be what they're it. dealing with yeah, on like a day to day basis with the Matterfold yeah. and everything. And we don't no. know who the master is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It could be anyone. Okay. Still. It could be anybody. There may be a fucking. No. I don't know who it would be, but somebody probably. There's got to be more people than just the Flux Weavers that wanted the Seculums. Yeah. There's got to be other people that know about it. I mean, there has been. We've asked around and got, and got yeah. information a couple of times. Got so, like, they're info. not super private. Yeah. They're just not common knowledge. Yeah. Not common knowledge and even but getting your hands on one, not being a flux weaver is like a big deal. Yeah, it's we've been weirdly lucky in finding them. Although lucky or even may learning not be about them as a fact. But I'm sure it's fine. Okay. We don't have Should enough the... uh, knowledge to make any assumptions that, you know, have any standing. So right. I'm sure it's okay. Yeah, we'll see and if, it's, if we find out it's not fine, then we handle it. We've handled everything so far. So, yeah. it'll be fine. We've made it this far. Yeah. Only two of us have tried to die so far. <laughs> you did succeed, friend. to be fair. Yeah. But then you guys saved us. We did, and I wish you would act with a little bit more reverence sometimes. Fuck. We we saved you with the technology of fucking... Out. Out. That's not a thing that we can just reproduce. You can't just, like, do that. I don't plan on dying anytime soon, so... Good. 
hard to kill. <laughs> Do you think they know we're coming? Yes. Because yes. of your letter? What did you just say? Because of the letter? Because of her letter. They might not know because of the letter, they might just know. We've been very <laughs> steadily moving north. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, think it's safe not to, been discreet. I think it's safe to assume they know. And if Tothnil doesn't come back? How he's been progressing. Who, if Tothnil does not come back, the, then Sin's going to be they're quite angry. Yeah. If they didn't know before, they're going to know soon. But I mean, we've lost our stalker. Yeah, we have. It's been quite fucking annoying, if I must say. Remember when they creamed hmm. us on the ferry? Yeah. Ha. We're doing pretty good. I mean, again, not to try and speak well of them, but we've handled these guys one on one. Yeah. But as far as we know, that Sin and Mareth aren't in the same place. Because Tothnil said that he was on his way to Sin. Yeah, who knows where Mareth is? Which is not the words I like to speak. Suck in his own dick. That guy. Fun to kill, but to kill twice? At least. Ugh. Chop off his dick next time. That way he can't go off and wake it. I'll do worse. Fantastic. Ram his dick and twist it. No, he'd enjoy that. Not if I twist it off. You got me there. Yeah, you can, at least you can break it. That would it, be an unpleasant experience. Yeah, that would be quite awful. Can we get off the topic of dick twisting and actually go the fuck yeah. to bed? Yeah. Yes. Let's, what, you yes. don't want to talk about dick twisting anymore? No, Let's no. Go to bed. Not really. I'm quite tired. Yeah. I took a lot of fucking arrows to bed. Everyone else wants to talk about dick twisting, right? And the bear trap, and almost the pitfall trap, and then I took fucking darts let's, to let's the fucking to arm. Bed. At what point would I ever want to talk about dick twisting? I don't know, you seem like the kind of person. What? What, what does that even mean? <laughs> Okay. I had to be on your side for once. I had to be on his side for once. No. I took Ambrose's side too many Just times today. Stop. It did, it did make me feel better. I'm glad. Stop talking. Go to bed. You two. Sleep. Yeah. I'll take I first lost my spot. appetite for this hot dog. I'll, oh. Yeah, that's Where did you get also, Ross went to the fair while we were all what? busy with the. When she dipped off to go to Acelia, she also stopped at a local fair, the county fair. Her fucking, like, in, in fucking worldly senses as she comes back. She stopped off at Skull Island, grabbed a hot dog from the local fair, which yeah. was like a game bag. I met you all Mel. I was doing great. However. However. Beak. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I can take first watch. I know wow. that it's nice and dry in here, but I... Yeah, just stupid. make sure you stay in the dome. I will. I'm Cause... not that stupid. No. I'm not accusing you of being stupid. I'm just ensuring your safety. We've had a lot going on. And we were silly the last time we used this, so let's use it right this time. So let's go to bed. Yeah. I take first watch. Very good. Roll perception. Oh. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you for. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see anything. The rain actually puts you to sleep. I'm just like on. It's just my belt. Just. Who's taking second watch? I can do it. <laughs> I'll do third. Okay. At some point in the night, Macau, you would wake up just to see Ornan just pass the fuck out. It's like, wake up. It's like that thing where you wake up and you're like, I was not supposed to wake up naturally. Like, mm -hmm. I was supposed to be woken up by an alarm. Like, <laughs> yeah. that feeling that you get. Mm -hmm. I wake up like that. I'm like, no one woke me up. What the fuck? And I'm afraid. And then I... And just like tickle under his mouth. <laughs> I swing at you. No! God what? damn it. Beef! 
I'll just let it happen. Beef.exe. Go to sleep. Uh-huh. Again! Go to sleep. Okay. Break a perception check. Excuse me! I'm gonna I'm I have to bring it over here so I don't fucking throw my dice across the floor every single time. Your dice. Okay. But, you know. Bring Yemi. 21. Wonderful. As you are scanning out of the horizon, you would see just past kind of like the rock, um, like outcropping, mm-hmm. standing in the rain, just kind of like looking up. God, I swear to God. Is Ambrose. What? Just standing out in the rain. I make sure everybody's still asleep. All I look in his spot to make sure that's not a, a mirage. <laughs> Ambrose is not there. Okay, cool. I will fix my bedding mm-hmm. and very quietly, because we're able to come back in, right? Because we're allowed in. That's like a function. <laughs> be that because we're allowed to be yeah, in there, we can know. go in and back. Okay. Anyone who's authorized users, essentially. Okay, and it's still like sprinkling, drizzling. It's still raining. No more thunder, but it's still raining. Okay, then I'll... Did he leave his cloak behind? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'll grab it, and I'll just grab, like, a fucking my blanket, and I'll just put it over my head, and I'll start shuffling my mind. Okay. Hey! Hey! How close? How close do you get to him? Probably, like, a couple of feet back. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? He like whips around like shoulders hunched and for a brief moment, you see like half his face as like a skull. He just, <clears throat> and then it goes back to normal and you see him just like standing there normally and just, what are you doing up? Hello? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, why? You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. I'm sorry, I didn't wasn't I didn't do anything. You called me and I turned around. Was it just distinctly skull like or was it similar to when John's trying to pop out? No, this was distinctly different. Oh Okay. I don't know how to discern anything about that. Yeah. Does he seem off? Insight check. He does seem a little off, almost like you kind of caught him off guard. Yeah. Like he might be trying to hide yeah. something from you. You just plan on standing out here and getting wet? I mean, it feels kind of nice. Yeah. I guess I can come back in. What's going on? Nothing. He tries to like push past you. <laughs> grab his fucking arm and push him right back to where he was. And then as he's standing there, I will grab his cloak from my hands and I will put it on and clasp it up. What's going on? Okay. I was talking to Ryak. Mm-hmm. And he gave me another boon, if you will. Okay. Why are you trying to be all sneaky sneaks about it? I suppose it comes at a bit of a price with the pact I have with him. What does that mean? I don't know how all the magic shit works. I need to spell it out for me like I'm five. Hmm. You know how I was brought back by Ryak, right? Yes. So, with this new boon that he's given me, I'm a bit more... uh, I'm walking the line between living and not. So, with that, I no longer have to eat, drink, or sleep anymore.
I don't know why you're trying to be sneaky about it. I just would have rather no one knew. I don't know how everyone feels about traveling with someone that's a bit more on the undead side now. I mean, I'm not really undead. I'm just saying, like, you know, I, I, I gain more traits with... As the pact with Ryak grows. Mm -hmm. So. Well. The only person that I think would have an issue with that would be Dara, and even then, that doesn't sound like him. I know. Sorry. If anybody did have a problem with it, then they would have a problem with me. So. That makes me feel safe. <laughs> There's something else. I had a feeling. Took a real big breath there. What's up? It's Jean. Okay. What's going on with our uh, spectral spookster? The closer we get to Ocelia, the more feelings he says he's getting. Like, like he feels something getting closer to him. And that might be good, right? Because we're trying to find his friend. He there. wants me to leave. Like, just like he, go fuck off, or he wants me to follow whatever this feeling is for him. Well, we're on our way there. He's already getting a fucking free ride out of you. I know. Which and I'm not that's... too happy about already. So if he starts making fucking demands, that's what I'm telling him. But he wants to pursue this feeling, this path. It's not in Ocelia. At least he doesn't think. He thinks it's closer. I... Well, then we're getting there. Yeah, but what What if some point he just wants to leave? And I have no choice, and he just takes me. He won't. How can you be so sure? I'll figure it out. Okay. I understand that he is desperate to get to wherever his fellows are, and he wants to, whatever, the, the fucking, the behold once again, all the fucking puzzle pieces or whatever that he seems to be making himself out to be, but figuring it out, and I hope he's listening. We're figuring it out. We're making our way to where we need to go. And it's great that we happen to be on the same path that's, you know, it's, he's getting his vibes from that direction. Like I said, he's getting a free ride out of you. He's got somewhere to hang out that's not a piece of crystal glass shit all by his lonesome. So he can... Shove it up his ass. Okay. And if it's closer, we're on our way to going. I'm not mad at you. I, uh... I know. It's complicated. Yeah. I just hope we find whoever he is looking for. Yeah. Soon. They can give us any pointers. 
<laughs> it's just this feeling that he has. He says we're getting closer. That's it. Okay, well. Then we just keep going. And yeah. The sooner we find these fucks, the sooner he's out of your shit, and then we're all good. You make it sound easy. I really hope it is. If we make it sound easy, maybe it will be easy. <laughs> You're very hopeful. Plan it that way. Well, hey, someone's got to be. Yeah. Right. Well, I've been up for too long, so I think I'm going to go to sleep. But you didn't need to. Uh, like, him in the arm again. You just, Much more gently this time than from before. He doesn't flinch as you punch him. I don't need to. But I would like to. Yeah. If anything, just to rest my head for a bit. If I didn't have to eat or sleep, I'd still do it because it's nice. It's a nice feeling. Yeah. Okay. Good night. I'm coming back with you. Well, he just like starts toddling oh, off. Ah, you made it awkward. That's I hard. didn't. No, uh, look at you. It's like that thing where you go to say bye and then you both start walking the same direction. Yeah, and how often does that happen? Uh, I mean, not super often, but you know, it happens and then it's mortifying. Okay, well, I didn't know that yeah, you were gonna come back. I thought you were gonna stay out of here or something. No, oh, you think? No, I'm gonna be in the cozy dome. Okay, I didn't know. Sorry. I don't want to keep getting wet. You're not wet. You're underneath the... Okay. Yeah, but this is my blanket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you both... I hope walk... someone lit the fire. <laughs> you both walk back to the dome, and Ambrose, like, just closes his eyes and rests, so... Okay, it all post up until it's about that time. Very all... good. Wake up, Eve. All right, you wake up, Eve, I'm after your shift is done. Very gently rise, and then I'll go to bed. Okay. Without <laughs> my blanket. Without my blanket. Rise, and then go to bed. I have my blanket, like, laid out at the edge of the dome, and then I'm just on my room, my room mat. Because it's, like, temperature controlled in here. Yes. Good. Right, mm. Ambrose. Right, Alrighty, perception, but not 20. Yo! <laughs> What'd you get? You begin looking out over these like grassy, hilly plains, and you would be able to see the rain out in the distance would like stop. And as almost as if something is gliding across the sky and stopping the rain from falling. And it like circles around, like the rain would kind of like stop for a second. A few times before whatever this thing is goes off in the distance. You can see that rain like stopping as it glides through the clouds. You can barely see the silhouette of some massive winged creature that flies overhead silently. Silent deadly. Neat. Yeah. Yep. That's about it. Huh. I guess, like, once it gets far enough away, then the rain just falls again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. <clears throat> That's pleasant. Okay. Light would come, but the clouds are still there, and it's still raining. The twenty-ninth of Praxis. Oh, shit, guys! Yeah. Oh, it's made it to the end of the month. Rise and shine, everyone. We have been through yeah. so much in twenty-nine <laughs> fucking days. Yep. 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 Six right. levels in 29 days. Hey, that's mm -hmm. good. Put the good that's one. scary progress for any human. If you think about it, it kind of mechanically makes sense for all of us. We're just getting back in the swing of things. 
back in the swung song. Swing of things. Yeah, you like calmed down, you settled down, you married. And now I was never a priest <laughs> like this. <laughs> I was 20. You were in your prime. You were reared and ready to go at all times. And now you're getting your strength in other ways. Do you know what I did? What did you do? Leather working. Mm. That was it. I see, but you were still in your prime. And no. I, yes. <laughs> yes. And for me, I was in jail for a long time. Yeah. And then I had to behave. Okay. But now you don't. So, what are you guys the poor doing? Mm. Well, we get packed up, ready to go, and we get our shit together. Very good. Yes. But is the is the spooky specter stuff <laughs> secret time, or is that something visual? Spooky uh, specter. I'm talking, Mister Mister uh, Hitching Alive. I. It's not really a secret. Okay, I just didn't know if I need to like. No, I mean everyone really knows at this okay, point. Okay, so. Okay. It's fine. Okay. If it becomes an issue, everyone will know about it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go get us food for the day before we head out. Okay. I'm gonna go use my Outlander feature. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Since I've legitimately never done no, that. No, that's fair. Uh, okay. Mm, so in this area... Now, who, what kind of food do I get? That's a great question. <laughs> Um, actually, yeah, no, you would be right. There would be several rabbits around here Aha. that Gawain would be able to like pick up on. And so by using Gawain easily, you're able to get like a, whatever it's called, like a, what is it called? Like a bundle of rabbits? It's called something specific. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, yeah. Burrow of rabbits? No, it's called something else. What? Hold on. I want to say like a hitch here. of rabbits or something like that. I have a dumb idea. I want to know if it would work, but I don't think it would. Herd, colony, fluffle, or litter. No, no, but it's like when you have like when you're when you have like like hunting no. rabbit for maybe it's not just rabbit specifically, but it's like, like a bundle. It's like a bundle, but it's something else. I don't know what it's called. Rabbit. I swear to God, I've heard it before somewhere, like some movie or something. I got like I got a thing of rabbits. When you go rabbiting. Um, I swear to God, it's from like, like Lord of the Rings or hunting? something when like Sam Cotton has it. Cottontail hunting? Well, no, no, that's a specific thing. Uh, uh, what do you say? A pair of conies? Is that what he says? Uh, In Lord of the Rings, that's what Sam says, right? Ferreting. I believe a pair of conies is something else. Oh. Well, you got some rabbits. Are you? You got rabbits. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Brace of conies. Believe. Is that what it is? Yeah, the brace of coney is, is hey. a rabbit stew. Hey! So I was kind of right. So yeah, you you had it right. Yeah, cool, okay. That was cool. Your memory serves you better than me. Hey, I love means Lord of the Rings. <laughs> it's time for my yearly rewatch. Josiah just had that, actually. He just rewatched all the Lord of the Rings. Don't say anything around Ethan. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I'm also not ready yet. Okay, so you catch your rabbits. And you're yep. gonna cook them up for everyone? Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> raw. Raw. I'm really <laughs> good. <laughs> Gollum style. Okay. Any, any potatoes? Sure. Sick. Yeah. Hold tight. <laughs> Boil the mushroom. <laughs> Put them in a stew. <laughs> and and yeah. It's a chatter song. We don't know what you're not doing. What's fun? I'll pick up some rabbits during the day. I'll pick up some potatoes as I go, try and hunt down any other wild food that I can find. So that way for dinner I can make a nice rabbit stew. Mm, sure, you're able to do so with your Outlander feet easily enough, whatever you need. Yeah, that's easy. So as you guys, after Dara is done collecting his stuff and you guys eat, um, you would make your way out back into the plains. Um, okay. You travel for, you have maybe, as of now, a full day until you get to your next point of interest. Um, traveling directly north from here. 
Um, as you guys are traveling, maybe about a third of the day through, um, cl- it's still cloudy, still a bit raining, um, but at some point, uh, you would hear someone like just over like a hill. Um, you would hear someone yelling. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to pull it up. <laughs> you would hear someone yelling, uh, and you would hear like the bashing of wood almost. And you just hear, "Blast it! You good for nothing, freeloading coward! Come out here and help! Oh, you won't be eating anything again." Hmm. <laughs> Oh, with that. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, let's go investigate. I think. Are we? Do we want to go check that out, or are we just gonna like ignore that? I mean, I want to go check it out. Yeah, why not? All right. Okay. You guys, you guys crest over the hill, and you would see um, a very stout elderly dwarf who is currently just pounding his leather boot into this boat in the middle of land and you would see something in the ground like burrowing towards the boat and out pops um what i think all of you would know as an onkeg this insect like armored insectile creature pops out of the ground and like extends its like uh mantis like claws out and the dwarf takes a wooden oar and just like bats it across the face and this thing goes like like starts screeching and burrows back down to the ground and he looks back down at the boat and goes I come on what are you doing the one time I need your help and he goes back up and this onk head comes back up and he just cracks it again with the oar hmm. so looks like this guy is in danger with some onk egg surrounding him oh he's actually in danger I thought he was like trying to befriend the thing no I thought that he was giving it shit. He's giving his boat shit is what it looks like. Oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. He's shit talking a boat. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Being so. attacked by an onk. How the fuck do I spell onk? A n k h e g. Thank you. I onk. knew how to spell it. I was just typoing it. So, what are you guys doing? There is a elderly dwarf on a boat in the middle of land who needs help. Yeah, I'll we'll go over and How's that? try and beat the fuck out of an on keg, I guess. Okay. I've never beat the shit out of an on keg before. Go ahead and roll initiative. How does one murder an on keg? We're gonna find out. Do they taste good? Maybe. Not good. Well. Seven. Ah. Ah. Oh, seven on the die. Oh, well, seventeen. That be 11. Seven, seven, twelve, seventeen. Initiative. <gasps> now, give me just a second. Delete. I have my spell slots back. Give me eight. 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 Plus Ambrosius. Thank you. One. Uh, 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 seventeen. Nice, Ambrosius. Okay, so it needs to roll. Oh, I have my hit oh it goes back. first. Okay, so you guys Damn. start charging down the hill towards this dwarf who like sees you guys charging down and goes, "Hey, hey, hi! I need some help here. I'm kind of stranded. Please, <laughs> we got you." <laughs> um, and you happened? see two onkegs who are burdened the ground start <laughs> traveling towards you guys. Um. One of them is going to jump up and one, two, attack Ornin, and the other one is going to attack Dara. Okay. AC is 20. Yep. (laughs) I'm aware. (laughs) All right. First one against Ornin does not hit. Second one against Dara does not hit. Both of them, and with their mandibles, try to like latch onto you, but just miss completely. Um, Okay. It is your guys' turn. Okay, wait. Hear me out, though. Okay. What if it latched onto my armor? You can let it if you well, want like, to. So that way, like, it could be latched onto my armor and I could do something to, like, beat it off. Sure. Okay. Cool. 
It latches on, doesn't do any damage. Yeah. It latches onto your ironwood shield, just <laughs> and you hear it like pierce into it, but like now it's almost stuck its mandibles in there and like the roots kind of like <laughs> like wrap around it. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything too crazy, but I just figured it'd be a good way to actually fucking hit something. Sure. I want to use Shillelagh and bonk it. Very good. On the fucking head. Go ahead. All right, um, I don't remember how. Yes, I do. What am I fucking talking about? This one. Woof. Uh, spell attack modifier, I think it's seven. I'm not used to this using an actual sheet. I'm sorry. It's a 14. 14 hits. Oh shit. And then it is a d8. Plus my spell attack damage. That's not bad. What's my wisdom? Seven? Points of damage? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, you... And it just... And just, like, goes back a few feet. Okay. It already doesn't like ores. I'll hit it with a stick, too. Huh? Say that it's already been hit by an ore, so I'm going to hit it with my stick. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair. All right. Next... <laughs> okay, which one are you going for? The one attacking Ornan or Dara? Uh, the... Probably the one that's going for Ornan. Okay. Uh, buddy. Buddy time. I'm going to pull Joel and try to do it, right? Because going off right? of my memory. Because you have to take... Because every time I do it over there, it goes fucking flying. And I don't trust myself well, anymore. Maybe it was. Oh, shit. Wrong. <laughs> Eleven does not hit. I uh, have healing. Uh, second attack. Thirteen doesn't hit. Okay, it's like bonus action. <laughs> I did it right. Ninety-seven. That, that hits. Amazing. You start pummeling it, but it's hard. Insect carapace just like doesn't allow you to do any damage. But that third one. You're able to bust I through it. I a little slot. I just... <laughs> yeah, it, like, little... moves up one of its, like, arms or something. I'll You're kick able to, like, it. I guess, <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll kick it because it's an unarmed strike, so I guess my unarmed strikes are my ladies. Okay. One of them, at least. A wee froggy with four leggies! Uh, eight points <laughs> of damage. Rest in the forest! And what? Eight points of damage. Okay, very good. That's yeah, it. All right. I'm, I'm just gonna... my attacks. I'm gonna that's swing unfortunate. at the one that's coming at me. Okay, very good. Go ahead. Please. Oh, what the fuck? How? Less power. <laughs> 15? How? He was just telling me to throw with less guys. 16. Hits. Sick. We like these words. Fuck it, this. Well, it helps Fuck. that I have a plus 8 when I roll a 7 and an 8 on the guy. Okay, so. plus 7. Thank you, Shalele, for finally fixing my melee. <laughs> 13 points of slashing damage. Okay, so you slash at this thing, um, your axe is just buried straight into it, and then at, just before you take your axe out, uh, two Eldritch blasts kind of like arc around you and burst <laughs> into this thing. Yeah. In like a daze, it just like, and your axe kind of like is tossed out of it. Uh, this thing looks extremely wounded. It's like, not surprising. All right, Eve. All right, I will uh, ray of frost. Which one? The one that is badly fucked up. Very good. Go More ahead. One. Destroy as we freeze and then we shatter it. Cocked. That is so cocked. That is unbelievable. That is the one downfall yeah. of that dice. It's very rounded. Uh, that is I'm sorry. 18. It's a beautiful dice. It's 18. It's gorgeous. 18 hits. I thought you were about to like eat that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be seeing you later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, five. Cool. Okay, yeah. Your ray of frost, as it hits this thing, it just kind of like freezes up and then just crumples into pieces. Oh, oh shit. Okay. 
Get All right. wrecked, bitch. Alright, it's the Onkeg's turn. It is no. going to burrow and then <laughs> pop up uh, right beside Eve. And. Uh, it's okay. It's it's okay they're babies. Take a bite. It's gonna miss. 24. No. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you had to say that, didn't you? Fun fact doesn't hit. You take nine points of slashing damage, no. and as it bites okay. into you, uh, it releases acid, so you oh. take another. Five uh, points of acid damage. Uh, so um, you are also considered grappled by this creature as its mandibles are wrapped around you. Fucking pervert. Okay. You guys are next. Who's gone? It has Eve wrapped in its yep. acid mandibles. I'm going to go after the one that has Eve. I'm okay. Gonna swing at it. There you go. Go ahead. Eh? 14 plus 8. Yeah. Yes. Part of the Ironwood. Huh? What kind of action is it to make it a bigger shield? Uh, great question. <laughs> the dwarf is here to help us, don't worry. You can so I was like, take a look, it'd be cool to, you know, have. Uh-huh. So I think only one of those hit. <laughs> uh, okay, it is a full action, my bad. I'd not... Sh- uh, to like root the shield in the ground. Yes, it's is the action is, is a full action. Makes sense. Yeah, slam it. Okay, hold, hold on. It. Action. Because full action is starfinder. Oh. I I meant action, action. Okay, I just had to make sure. Yes. Ah. So like, if it takes my bonus action and my action. No, no, no. no just, your, just just your action. Your Does game. it eleven oh. hit? No. It's like, oh. Only one of those bombs. 12 points of damage. Okay, very good. Uh, so I a seven. Uh, thank you. Is it still on there? Still up. I would like to rip off its mandibles. Go ahead. Hell yeah. For flavor, but I'm just whacking it. <laughs> I mean, if you kill it. Uh, 19. Hits. And second attack. That's kind of the shit. That, well, that misses. Okay. So the first one. Uh, nine points of damage. Okay. And then I'll do another bonus action. I'll try to stomp it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Don't look at her dice today, guys. Okay. <laughs> so right. still up in Eve's shit? Yeah. So yeah. you go up and you grab one of its mandibles and you start like tearing at it. You just hear it. <laughs> Like start to break, but it still has an iron grasp on Eve. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Man, it's really great that you gave me a new spell. Thanks. I'd right. like to use Thorn Whip. Thorn Whip. Okay. Sure. Get over. So. Get over here. Make him. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Very good. Get <laughs> nope. Stand right there. <laughs> <time. laughs> AC is below ten. No. All right, Eve, you can go ahead and um, try to escape if you want to do so. Roll this fuck off! So I'm guessing it's a strength roll? Uh, t- yes, strength against its strength or athletics. Three. Ah, 13, so, Look. okay. Yeah, strength is not my strength. All right, um. Next. So it has advantage and it's gonna bite you. But it misses. Does a 19 hit? It does. Well, very good. Yeah, there's only like one fucker here that wouldn't hit. Eight plus three, 11 points of slashing, plus two points of acid. Uh, how, you, how, how you doing? Uh, As Macau is trying to like rip this mandible off, Macau, you just feel it like sinking deeper into E. Out of 49. Okay. I regret not using. All right, Bash next, you guys. My new fucking thing. All right. I... Let's go. Swing. Ah, okay, go ahead. I knew shit. I swing. Bada bada swing. What? No. Mm-hmm. Yikes, guys. We're sleepy. That shit. Know. We just woke up. 21 hits. I don't feel like the chosen one. We just woke up. <laughs> I really don't feel like the chosen one. <laughs> Eight points of slashing damage. Eight? 
he's still alive, but you slash <laughs> into him. Green insect blood just starts pooling out of it. You hear this thing wailing uh, out with its insect-like cries. Uh, just, I, it's just like <laughs> on me. Yeah, it's like with Gimli okay, the me fucking out. dog thing. Stupid idea. Oh, fucking yeah. die on it. You grab one mandible, I hit the other with a thorn whip. And just rip this thing. Yeah. Go ahead. Get off the lady! 26 to hit. Yes. 14? Yes. Uh, how do you want to do this? Uh, I just so want to like split his head open. <laughs> <laughs> With the, the force coconut. of Dara and Macau combined, you rip its mandibles out, but not only that, like what it's connected to in its head just starts. <laughs> Eve, you just see just in the middle, this thing just. <laughs> just split open its insect brains splatter all over you I'm as his brain <laughs> as his head is ripped yeah. in half You're and then falls in the uh, falls to the ground nickelodeon slime yeah, <laughs> yeah. just fucking Fuck. blood viscera i'm so sorry uh, i'm so sorry uh, uh, i did not uh, think that was how it was going no, to go no no you guys are you guys are you... i thought it was just gonna goop down i'm <laughs> I yeah. could have so I could have avoided this no so I, I should be thanking you guys I just oh, are, you, are you at least oh, doing oh, like okay um, uh, I'll heal you in a moment this, dwarf oh, hey thank you for your help <laughs> you got green all over you I'm going to help Mirage clean up a little bit with some like so what you and see and whatnot so I'm just like God see? come no come here wander, uh, wander over here follow the, okay. just follow my voice okay, okay. No, just over here oh okay. you see an elderly dwarf with white hair uh and a thick You're white cool parted there. and braided beard with like two golden ornaments hanging from yeah, his beard. Yeah. Uh, he wears a long, thick blue fur coat with gold outlinings and embossed like golden lines that intertwine, making like beautiful designs across his yeah. clothing. Um, his clothes are also adorned with several golden ornaments that rattle with like each swing of his like a wooden oar and every time he moves. Um, he just seems like a very eccentric person. Like metals or? Just little ornaments. Ornaments, like okay. golden, like baubles and okay, stuff. Word, okay. um, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, you're good. Um, he just looks up to all of you and just, I thank you. You could not have come at a better time. Oh, thank the gods you came. <laughs> uh, anyways, adventurers are you, yes? Yeah, yeah of a ah, sort. Very good. Uh, my name is Sir Farragut Tom Buckler. And I am what you would call a traveling merchant. Uh, Farragut. Tom Buckler. Tom Buckler. Hey. You're just a roll of the boat? Or? Oh, this stupid thing. <laughs> <sighs> Nobody won't move for the life of man. I don't know why. You know, he's done so good and now he just... Uh, uh, what did you call it? Nobber. That's a good name for him. And usually he's awake by this time and likes to move around, but I don't know what's going on with him. You know, he might be a little hungry. I haven't fed him in quite a while. We lost all of our food not too long ago. These damned insects have been chasing us for quite a while. Oh, shit. Yeah, so, yeah, Nobber is kind of out of community. You wouldn't by any chance have food on you, would you? I'd be willing to trade, eh? Well, what uh, I mean, what does he eat? Yeah, what's he eat? Uh, primarily meat. Uh, he'll go for, the, like, the, other I, things, but... Uh, I've got dried the, meat. The boat. That would work. Yeah, dried, dried meat. Yeah. Hey, that would work. Yeah, yes. Fresh and here, yeah. here you go. Oh, you are too kind. You are too kind. Number. Hey, hey, I got some food for you. A stupid freeloading piece. Of... <laughs> he, he like hops off and goes towards the front of the boat. Hey, <laughs> wake up! You see the boat, like the front of it. <laughs> An eye. <laughs> Another eye. <laughs> Ooh, it opens a fucking up. Mimic. Yellow teeth and a purple tongue just. <laughs> Hey, here you go, and he tosses the fucking dried meat in mouth. <laughs> he kind of like pats the boat before it like goes dormant, but its eyes start like darting around and like see, like looking at everything. You, you tamed a mimic. Well, I I suppose you can say tame, but more like a uh, knobber here is a bit more uh, intelligent. Uh, what do you see? Like an evolved sort of mimic, if you would say. Um, I see, mean, I've never seen a boat mimic, so. I usually they take the form of like chess, but any like n inanimate thing they can really take the 
form of. Um, so I found Nobber here, um, seaside, uh, in a boat, um, and he just uh, I came close to him and he woke up, tried to eat me, didn't work out. I kind of felt bad for the little bugger, so I tossed him some food and uh, he was following me ever since. And so I think he started to realize that, you know, if he stuck around me, um, I would supply him with food. Huh. It's a hell of a deal. Yeah. So now he's been taking me everywhere in the boat. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. Oh. Merchant, I am a merchant. I have goods for you. Would you like to take a look? Sure. Yeah. Wonderful. I have a lot of uncommon goods for you here. Uh, you see him go over to the boat and he starts like taking out like um, different things and he sets up like this little like pop up shop in his boat. Um, right. It's well. Going- I have just a few items, you know, I'm just coming back from the Arlefell. I'm heading all the way over to Lamplight and the Nemesis to sell my the rest of what I have. And then I'm back to home. So we tell him to stay away from a Nemesis? I mean, a Nemesis is fine, it's just a word from Mothmanger. Um, just for your own sake, I would avoid Mothmanger. There's weird political shit going on. I... Well, I appreciate the tip. I'm going to uh, Lamplight, though. That is where a big adventurer market is, and I'm very happy to go there to sell my stuff. So, what I have for you, my friends, take a look, take a look. Here we have the amulet of greater chances. Yes, the back adorned with the depiction of Cassade herself. Yes, and all of her luck. Hmm? Very good. Oh. He steps that aside. What? Um, and then here. Bag of holding, you know, I'm pretty sure it's adventure. You've seen this quite a few times, maybe? Oh, shit, we need a bag of holding. We need one of those. We need a bag of holding. Mm. With the artifacts. Oh. With the artifacts. Oh. I see this has drawn some interest, yes? Yeah. Could uh, very useful, yeah. Very good. Well, let me go do the rest of my stuff, and then yes, we'll go to okay, yes, 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 yes. And then this, he holds up an amulet. An amulet of the devout. If any of you are a uh, clerics by any chance, paladin? Oh, I'm not a paladin, but this, I am a man of holy. He's a damulet of the gone. No shit. Are you fucking? What does it do? What does it do? If well, you know. Well, it's mainly for uh, clerics, you know, or paladins. Um, it really helps with their. What? What is it? The question. This is me. Okay. This is me. <laughs> okay. 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 I was just wondering if these seem like genuine things or if they're like trinkets. Can roll an insight. Okay. Or arcane, either one. Can I double up on insight? Yeah, can I have that on it? Sure! I'll do insight because my arcana is lower than that, so. I will... Well, it doesn't fucking matter. Insight. What? Kate. Kate. Ugh. Kate. She's 15. a 10. Okay. I got bug shit in my eyes. <laughs> okay. 15. <laughs> um, all right. These are genuine magical artifacts. Okay. Sick. Um, with this, it uh, empowers the one who wears it. Uh, their channel, the channel divinity, I think is what they call it. It uh, boosts that, which is very good. And oh. um, for all spell casting types, it gives it a little bit more of a boost. Uh, specifically, a plus one boost. <laughs> <laughs> you could say really? at least one. <laughs> a gentle boost. <laughs> And then, next up, these created by the elves themselves. I found it in the Arlefell, but it was traded to me by an elf. Winged boots. No shit. Oh, fuck! Allows the wearer to fly. Oh. Very wonderful. That's indeed. still fucking cool. Yeah, I tried them only once. The I got a little sick, so I don't like it. I'm willing to trade that off. Okay. That's fair. Next. Oh, <laughs> fly. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. going. <laughs> Oh, you and just, just you looks fucking, down on the world. And then fucking Mother Serpent, you just... She ah, that was she the she <laughs> <laughs> Next, made oh from the goodness. hide of a red dragon. Oh. The oh. dragon hide belt. Oh. Now, for any of you who are skilled in the martial arts, specifically unarmed martial arts, fisticuffs and all that, this will help you with your monk-like features from what I've been told. Can you explain that to me mechanically, Fergig? Oh, of course. It looks much like the plus one boost. This one gives you a plus one bonus to saving throw DC against your own key features. Oh, I see. 
see, yes. Yes. Interesting. So you're uh, uh, for a, like a monk's stunning strike. Yes, stunning strike. <laughs> I was just about to say. Well, yes, I want yes, to keep yes. somebody in their spot. Of course, yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. The next thing, the periapt of wound closure. Very good for if you go down and need to come back up in the jiffy, huh? And then next, this one is a very special one. If you like the winged boots, you're going to like this one. He pulls up. <sighs> Bruma flying. No shit. This is the greatest thing. Hey, all, all we need is a little fucking Pokeball to go with that shit, and it's what? fucking season two of Box Mike and all over again. It's perfect. <laughs> A little locket. Found <laughs> in the closet of a green hag. Not me. I don't do that. But the, the person who sold me it. Yeah. Anyways. <clears throat> I was willing to believe it. Well, I'm not one for tall tales. I just like to, uh, you know, restate what other people have done. Last thing that I have. He, like, flourishes his hand and inside is like a small pearl. The pearl of power. Mm. Oh. This is for those who are uh, imbued with the arcane themselves. Once spoken into, you can regain spells that have already been consumed. Huh. That's like my channel divinity option. One of them. Shit. Flourishes his hands again and it disappears. He's so, also a magician. What? <laughs> may, may I ask for that? Um, what was the, the luck amulet? What does that do? Oh, yes. The amulet of greater chances. So, if you take a look here, um, it, it looks kind of like a pocket watch in a way. Uh, the very front of it is all, like, has... Uh, looks like Cassade in a way. And then there's, like, this little, like, window in it. And it has a zero on it. And he goes, no. Nah. If I may, um, I'm going to try to throw an attack at you. Okay. okay. I'll make sure it's missed. But watch what happens to this number. I'm watching very intently. So he just, like, as you, like, lean in, he throws out a hit and it just, like, completely whiffs you across your face. He goes, now watch. You see it goes to a one. All right. I'm going to try to miss again. Goes to a two. Oh All right. God. Now, watch this. I'm going to try to miss again, but holding this... Uh, throws out a hit and it like... <laughs> hits you right in the shoulder. Two... <laughs> goes back to a zero. That's sick. Greater chances of hitting someone. Eh? That's cool. That's sick I, as shit. I don't remember where I've seen this idea before, but I fucking love this idea. That's <laughs> <laughs> These are great magic items. They're so random. We could have two flying fucks. Yes. That's I horrifying. Want, I want to be a flying fuck. Like this. I fucking fly by <laughs> Question for uh, boots of flying winged things. Mm. Is that something that I have to attune to? Um, I believe they are I attunement. I believe the slots. winged boots. I don't remember. Do you I not have an attunement slot? I got one left. Oh, Oof. but you can the but you... and shit. Yeah, I got my two floaty bits. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can hot swap them. That's what Gesh did all the fucking yeah. time. They do acquire attunement. You can. You can hot swap them. I, does the bo- broom? I don't think the broom does. Uh, the broom has a. It's a magic word. Yeah, it's just a magic word. So you can yeah, get the broom of flying out. is, is so like, is like an item. You can okay, get the yeah. broom. Yeah. You could use the broom. Oh. You're just a witch. Yeah. <laughs> what I. <laughs> <laughs> so. You just. <laughs> I just do that. Like, she's, she's, she's still and all of a sudden, a magic missile. Boom! I'm trying to think, like, how. Like, do I still need a free hand for. Like, I'm trying to think of. Well, you if don't. If I were to fly and. You don't need use, a free hand for flying. Yeah. You need a free hand for spells. But if you literally just sit on it, yeah. I guess if I guess if my quarter staff is my spellcasting focus, I mean as long as it's strapped to my back, I know that it's pulling power from it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It doesn't say anything that it requires like a hand. So. Now you can still cast that. spells because I know you can like attack if you're like right. Yeah, out. because it's like mounted combat. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah, it's, it's so it's bow. just considered mounted combat, so you'd be fine. A wooden broom mount. Yeah. That would be That's sick. That'd be sick. So, 
What can old Veregay Tombuckler sell you today? I want to surf on that. How much is that happening to like? trading? Which one? Fuck. The one for the greater chances. That would be 2,000 gold pieces. It's a very rare artifact, I assure you. Could not find anywhere else. I don't think... I think that would be literally all of our funds pooled yeah. for yeah. one item. Yeah. Also, man was like, oh, you can trade. And then he went, 2,000 gold pieces. <laughs> I mean, we did save his life, but he can't give out a 2,000 gold piece item for free. Are you offering some sort of discount for us saving your lives <laughs> and feeding your Roll of persuasion with advantage. Jesus Christ. You got this, homie. I believe in you. I don't. Barely a thousand. Just shy of a thousand gold. We have, we have cloaks of billowing we can trade. <laughs> but we never use them. We could. We got them. You could. I have the snake whip. Baby. Nice. Plus one to twenty-one. The luck thing calls to you. I can also give him the snake whip because I don't fucking want that. Well, I. I uh, did any of you speak undercommon? No. No. Okay. You hear the boat start like grumbling something, and you hear a uh, sea fairy get, like look down, and goes, "I suppose you're right." <laughs> They fed me. <laughs> I can drop it down about 750 gold pieces for you. Jeez, so, that's still so 1250. 1250. I don't think it's worth it. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a really awesome item, but. Fuck. Can I just um, get, like, the totals for everything? Yeah, can we get the total yeah, cost for, like. Bag of holding is going to be 500. The <laughs> Amulet of the Devout's 425. The winged boots, 1250. Dragonhide belt, 400. Periat of wound closure, 375. Broom of flying, 2,250. <laughs> okay. Pearl of power, 400 gold pieces. Yeah, we weren't supposed to get like any of that. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, we have money, but nowhere near that much. Yeah. Man, why couldn't it come later on down the <laughs> Oh, we're not making my dragon ball. I'm sorry, Spearbiter. I'm sorry. I was like, I don't think any of us, like, even, like, pulled together can really afford hey. much of anything. Uh, well, I'm willing to come down on prices for the ones who saved me. I'm also willing to barter or trade if you have other interesting artifacts I, with you. I do have I've got at the, least one. I do have a cloak of billowing. I do, too. <laughs> uh, what? But do you want? But do you um, want to know how we got it in the first place? These uh, folks tell a story. They really <laughs> do. <laughs> sure, sell me on the story, why don't you? We'll let the cow do the talking. On that one. It's a five-letter five word, repeated throughout the day. What? Sweep. <laughs> sweep. It all begins with a sweep. And it ends with a sweep. <laughs> <laughs> it began with a sweep, so and then we proceeded to sweep three more times. You know, uh, the Uroboros sweep. You know the city sky Xenus with the North Minor Christians? I have heard of it, I've never been. It's gorgeous, first of all. Mother Serpent and everything. Um, She's pretty chill, I would say. Yeah. We got to talk to the mother serpent. We did. But she doesn't know you than any of us. But. Yeah, that is very true. She doesn't really talk to it's just anyone. She hasn't it's spoken in a long remarkable. time. Remarkable. Yeah. Ah, kind of like rev up the gears she a little. Shows. Yeah. What is this mother serpent? Eh? She's uh, like the overseer of Sky Xanus. She's outlived most of the gods as well. She was already inhabiting this earth before the gods were created. She resides in a lake that hangs above the city itself. Interesting. Resides before the gods, huh? Yeah, there's fish up there. Ah, fish up there. I caught one of the fish, which is how we got one of them. That is one of the things that helped us to get the cloak, but basically we were in a a tournament of sorts in Sky Xenis for... It was for Last Departure Day, right? It was. Ah, the Last Departure. Yes. You were in Sky Xenis for that? We were. were. And so we were there, and we were in a tournament, and... uh, we fought our way to the end, kicked tons of ass, and we won that's the, how we got the cloaks of billowing. We won the we sewing won contest. The sewing we won the, the, sewing co- contest. Uh, the costume contest. The costume contest. We won the 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 fishing, the, 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 the hydriver contest. Yes, 
we won all the shit. I and then in the tournament. Yeah. So these are. Uh, prizes for a tournament. Not prizes just. Prizes for a tournament. Won by uh, great adventurers like you. The Rift Seekers. The Rift Seekers. The Cloaks of Billowings. Worn by the travelers known as the Rift Seekers. Yeah. Ah. Now that can sell. Would you like to trade them? Perhaps I can lower a price on something for your cloaks of billowing. I also have a weird item that I can offer. And what is this weird item of yours? It's a snake whip. A <laughs> snake whip. It turns into a snake. I would really. You want to show one? Not really. It <laughs> did try to get me. Okay, might I have a look? Sure. Oh, just be careful. Say, with it. Just you seem like close his eyes and like you see like this small glowing like blue shifting orb of light. He's like scans over the item. Is he using identify? Probably. Oh, I see. Well, this is a magical piece of uh, work. <laughs> Turns into a snake, but you can still slightly control it unless it tries to turn on you. Yeah. I could sell this. What do you What do you want for it? Are you looking, if you're looking to get rid of it. I mean, I don't know what would be a fair price for this, to be fair with you, I got it for rather reasonable price. Right, well, what do you think it's worth? Oversell it. Oversell it. I mean, with the items he's selling at the prices. It. Oversell it. So that is, a, that is a magical item that is alive. It yeah. It's true. That... It should be worth more than what you paid for it. Way more. <laughs> Come on. 400? Okay. Roll persuasion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to give him. Ooh, you want to give him advantage so, so bad. bad. So bad. So hold on. Bad. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. You want. Nice. Not you want to give I'll give, I'll give you advantage. Yeah, whatever. Advantage. <laughs> so bad. I rolled worse. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold oh, fuck. Fuck. Hold fuck. Hold fuck. Hold, hold fuck. Hold fuck. I rolled worse, so your triple advantage means nothing to me. <laughs> your triple advantage. Damn. Okay, what did you roll? Highest. In total, Ooh, you want to give it? You, you want to? Ooh, so bad. <laughs> So bad. Yeah, I already roll. gave him advantage. Fuck. I gave him triple Shush. advantage. Look into it. The initial roll was a ten. Into okay. It. That's four. Yeah, four hundred for this. Uh, I could do half. Two hundred. <coughs> Three hundred. Two fifty. Two seventy-five. I can do two seventy-five. Yeah. Swear. <laughs> Swear. All right, gives you 275, unless you're wanting to buy something else with it. I will, but I'm gonna God, I have to do some math. Holding at least. Yeah. False? P. False? Jesus Christ, I have some money, guys. Peace. Pause! Peace, pause! A piss pause! I'm pissing. <laughs> what else can Fairy Geek Tom Buckler do for you, huh? We got a few more items that I think we could sell. All right, all right, I'm all for it. What did you have to sell, huh? Well, I have this magic screwdriver. Hmm. Oh. And what does this magic screwdriver do, huh? Um, in the hands of an artificer, it... Add a character. I think it can open, like, any door. Or unlock any lock or something. Essentially, this thing can turn into any tool... That's what it was. ...that is needed for an artificer to do, like, any job. Okay. In the hands of an artificer, this can become any tool that they want in that moment. In order to get the job done. That can sell for a pretty penny where I'm going. The what what, uh, what are you selling it for, huh? Big. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. No less than 1,500 gold. <laughs> 1500? Are you crazy? <laughs> Do you realize how much artificers tinker around and how. Oh, I'm aware, I'm aware. And yes. how reliant they are on their tools and to have a magical one that would turn into any tool that they need without oh, looking I, around all of I'm... their satchels and they could have it all in one tool? There's also Holy the point shit, that this is crazy. an uncommon item, as in it's sold to the black market for 
criminal undertakings. It's very sought after. I, I suppose you're correct. Give, uh, give, give old Tom Blanco a second. I'm second. You, I, yeah, okay. I had a stroke there. It's okay. You give him a second. Give me a succulent, okay? Succulent. Give me a vasculent. No. No? <laughs> Secret discount. Secret discount. How about the trade, huh? Yes. I will give you the wing boots for that item. That's not a bad deal. Take it. Person was more interested in the broom since I did not take two to it. <laughs> broom is a bit more expensive than what you have going for you, friend. You could pay the extra funds. Yeah. You could, yeah. yeah. I don't care if the, the broom was 2000 2250 2, Winged boots were half of that price. Okay. Jesus. That's like literally all of my money. Yeah. Yeah, wing boots were one or twelve fifty. Okay. What will it be, my friend? I would take the boots and hot swap them. Oh. Can we go down to two thousand on the broom? Yeah, two thousand on the broom. We're about to rob this man. Roll persuasion. Because he's robbing us blind. Wait, you want to give her advantage so bad? <laughs> because that's such a nice tool. He could get, make so much money off of that. You, so Ooh, you want to give her advantage so bad? You want to give her advantage so bad? I will smite you. No more, no more. fair. It's been a long rest, you guys. This is one of these days, yeah. Jesus. God. <laughs> Love is fair and... I mean, that's not... Terrible. Fifteen. Hey, hey, that's good. pretty good. I suppose it would be fair to bring it down. You did save my life and all, and you did feed Nobber, so I can bring it down to two thousand for you. I absolutely. I. I knew you had it. In. Yes, um, a deal's a deal. Let's do it. 500 gold right here, screwdriver. Uh, you don't have to pay uh, 250 more if you want the broom. What? It's 1,250. I heard. You need 750. Yeah. To pay the difference, huh? Hold on. So the broom of flying is at 2,250. Mm -hmm. He wanted to trade the wing boots for the screwdriver, which was 1,250. Mm -hmm. So 2,000 minus 1,250 yeah. is 750. Yes. Math, maths. Okay. I thought, because I, I heard 2,050. False. False. Didn't they pass the persuasion to have him lower it to 2,000? 2, 2, 2, 2, yeah, to 2,000. Yeah. So 2,000 minus 1,250. Yeah. The math is 750, period. So 750? Yes. Okay. Cool. We convert some platies into it. Because if you're selling him the... Yeah, the price for the all-purpose all purpose tool is 1,250. Okay. Is what he's saying. Yeah. Okay, okay, I see. Yep. I'm just trying to convert my platinum into gold. I understand. So, uh, uh, 10 gold per platinum, right? Yes. Okay. So you need 75 platinum. What are you gonna get? <laughs> well, I yeah, might that's... sell the... Do you, do you need a loan? What if I toss them in there? What? Oh. <laughs> see, did you need... Did you need more money? I I, I couldn't ask. <laughs> I mean, I. Didn't I'll pay the us, difference. I didn't expect us oh, to get. Oh no! Ambrose gives you two hundred fifty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the broom of flying, please. Right. Well, a trade is a trade. There you go. I may it serve you well. Oh, thank you. It's been great doing business with you. 
This I know exactly who I can sell it to. If they're in my plights. <laughs> he puts it away. All right. What else can Sir Farragig Tom Buckler sell to you, huh? The, 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 the yeah, the chime. Bong. Bing bong. Fuck your life. Somebody sell those. I'll, I'll sell them. Okay. I believe in you. You can do this. I don't remember what they're called. Chime the of opening. Chime there of opening. Mm. Okay. Ooh, that's a... Okay. What? N- nothing. We're getting robbed. That's what's happening. Here. No, 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 no. <clears throat> so, uh... Are those just gonna come horribly in handy later? No, 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 no. no. I, I was looking at its its rarity and stuff. So. Yeah, okay. I, I looked it up and I went... Uh, While you guys are doing that, <clears throat> can I try to give this thing a test run? <laughs> Uh-oh. It's Boom! Oh, the Nimbus 2000! That's the newest, oh. newest model! <laughs> ah! Up! Okay, so... I'm gonna ride this home and play Burnout! Oh god. Revenge for the beast. Okay. It's the beast! <laughs> I feel my body with diet soda. Diet soda. Wait. So... The wooden broom, which weighs three pounds, functions like a mundane broom until you stand astride it and speak its command word. It then hovers beneath you and can be ridden in the air. It has a flying speed of 50 feet. It can carry up to 400 pounds, but its flying speed becomes 30 feet while carrying over 200 pounds. The broom stops hovering uh, when you land. You can send the broom to travel alone to a destination within one mile of you if you speak the command word, name the location, and are familiar with that place. The broom comes back to you when you speak another command word, provided the broom is still within one mile of you. I will send it to you via Discord. The yeah. to return if within one mile. There you go. Maybe how high up can I go there? Uh, there is no limit. You there just is no fly, limit of you just, can, you just have a flying, speed, a flying of speed of 50 feet. Okay. So I just, I just go and I use a safety word. Okay. Yep. Pineapple juice. Okay. Is that his command word now? <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Thank you. And we're gonna get copyrighted. It's okay, we were slightly off key. It's okay. True. <laughs> They'll never know. How could they know? <laughs> See, it's off key. Yeah, it's all fucked up and modulated. It's all good. Modulated. So, for that amulet. What about, have you heard of the item, the, the chime of opening? The chimes of opening? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have, I have heard of such a thing. I've never come across it, though. To be okay. able to unlock anything with them? Anything. Oh, any thief would pay. Oh, such they a... would give their soul to have something like that. Hmm? And I would, hmm. And I would say to open anything would equivalent to a, like a second chance, per se. A second chance? For eh. that amulet? Well, first, do you have these chimes you still speak of? Can I, can I have the chimes? Yes. There you go. Oh. You want to take a look just to make sure that I'm not lying? I suppose why not? Doesn't hurt to be safe. Waves his hand over that blue, like, ball of, like, energy. Ah, you speak true, my friend. <laughs> but this is a... How rare item indeed. I am willing to pay good for it. How much you want for it, huh? Would we be able to get, like, two items or an item and a discount? Per se? <laughs> ah, well, you see, this, uh... <laughs> this item right here might just make me go bankrupt. Uh, a price I'm willing to throw out for you, I'd say 2,800, yeah? Does that sound fair? So, like an item and a discount. 
I suppose, and depending on which one you want, yes. The the second chance would be the wound great. closure. Huh? The wound closure, periapt. Is that not the one? amulet of second chances for? Oh, the amulet of greater chances. I see. Yes. Um, well, that I can definitely give you that, and you have eight hundred left. Was anybody else oh. eyeballing an item that they want a eight hundred dollar discount? I heard you talking about the bag of holding. Oh, I can get you that yeah. if you like it. And I was eyeing the amulet of the devout. Mm-hmm. The belt uh, would be well, good for you as well. You could get both, and then the yeah. amulet would only cost one hundred and twenty-five if you'd like to uh, buy both things with this. And I also know that pearl of power might be good for you, but I don't know if that requires Glad attunement. I'll take the amulet. Of greater chances. Very good. You have the amulet. Does it acquire to me? Uh, the amulet does. Awesome. I'll listen to it later. Does the Pearl of Power require to me? I would think so. I would assume so. I'm looking it up, I believe it if does. If not, hooray. But so. Yeah, because if it does, then... Mm-hmm. Uh, Pearl of Power. It's going to be up here. Please, thank you. Earl of Bower, it is not up there. Well, Oof. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Hey. it required a tomb, yes. Hey. No. Do we need a bank of holding, though? It would be nice. The whole thing's pretty alright. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. That's 500 gold on just a bag of holding. Yeah, We're not really, like, boots. strapped for items. Uh, the boots or the belt is what I'm interested in. Fair. My... The boots are not cheap. Oh, no. My save for my key points I... is 13. I I can loan you some money. Yeah, I can afford the amulet without any issue. I can I can loan you some money if you need it. How much was the belt? Dragon had belts. That is four hundred. I can afford you that. I could technically pay it. I just I'm thinking. Maybe I can hundred gold left from the chimes. Yeah, I'll I'll just buy the amulet of the devout outright myself. So that way you guys can keep that discount. Because I've got a lot of fucking money. Gold pieces, yes. To get a discount from anything in his shop. And it was 400. And how much are the boots? Uh, The winged boots. Half of the room is 1250. Almost half. Math is hard. Okay. be 450 if you use the 800 gold pieces. Say that again? If you use the 800 gold pieces left from the chines of opening, it'd be 450. Yeah, 450. And then the belt is Then I can just yes. outright buy the bag of holding. I mean, you could. I don't know why you're so obsessed over this bag of holding. It's like it's bag of holding is really nice. I mean, it's convenient, but we don't need it. That's my point. If we get to a point where we need it, we can hunt this fucker down. And we can you know where he's going. Yeah, we know where he's going. He's going to lamplight. Yeah. Um, I feel be. like the belt is a good choice because my DC is at 13, so getting into a 14 would be nice. Mm-hmm. Um, Flying Macau? Flying Macau would be so Flying M&M. Yeah. Dude. Oh my, oh my, okay. You I, could do dive kicks from so high up. Dude. <sighs> get the, I want the get belt the, and the boots really bad. I'll, I'll then, buy the belt for I have, you. Well, I have funding. I have 380 gold pieces, 30 platinum. So that so gets you, you 680. One. I also have a cloak of billow. <laughs> that you could sell. Do it. Fuck it. Take my cloak of billow. How much is he he buying it for? You have to bribe him. Uh, What do you think? Considering our legacy, 
Well, but, you have but, to take our legacy into consideration for what we've done. We are love. becoming a name. We, we are. are we literally just got thanked by the town of Nasal because we went to war for them. We did do that. Oh, that, was that that's something that we that we missed out on. Then. 150. Another, another storytelling. Um, roll of persuasion. <laughs> I'm so, I'm over the purchasing. I'm, I'm done now. Bartering. We got, the, we got Mother Serpent what to was speak. It? Just one, dog. Okay, well. I'll die. Eh. I could do a hundred, maybe. I did. I went. I went high. He went to what I originally was thinking. That's good. Yeah. There you go. Okay, yeah, hundred. So, I'll just put this here for my sake. Um, I am actually quite curious. Uh, that the uh, cloak or cape that you are wearing, I'm interested. What is that? The one Ooh. that has the the heads on it. Yes. Uh. Back from home, I've I mean, heard something of, of that same creature that has a hide like that, and I was wondering if it's the same thing. Uh, could you, you don't have to sell tell me you about, it. about it? No, just tell me about it. You know what to sell. Yeah, I got it back in, uh, in I guess, me and my... Hey, me homeland, yeah. In your homeland? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, like I said, I've, I've heard of, of this... Uh, I forgot what it's called. I know of it, though. I don't have also forgotten what it's called. It's been a long time. Um, the, uh, the Cold Haven tribe were actually... Oh, you were a part of the Cold Haven tribe. I know them well, yes. Yes. Um, it was me and my sister and a couple of really close friends who, uh... I thought something happened it. to the Cold Haven tribe. They're still around. It's been a long time since I've been back in Aegis. Us, uh, some, unfortunately, we have uh, disbanded, and some of them live in Skewer now. I'm sorry to hear that. They were uh, good people when I knew them. One of the more peaceful tribes compared to some of the other ones. <laughs> hmm. yeah. Well, if I'm ever back in Skewer, I'll be sure to say hi for you. What was your name? That's, uh, that's not important right now. I understand. I understand. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry to pry. No, 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 it's okay. It's, uh, it's quite the, uh, the staple piece, really. Yes, it really is. It suits you well. Wear it with pride. Thank you. Um, anything else Tom Blocker can do for you, huh? I'll, uh, take that amulet of devout. I'll find the 425 gold. Very good. It is yours, my friend. <sighs> And, uh, anything else? I want the belt and the boots. And total it is 1650. Minus 800, 850. For both. Okay, okay, I'm trying to do math, I'm trying to do math. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I have 30 platinum, 480 gold pieces, and 85 silver pieces. A bag of 200 gold. Okay. Very good, 600 left. Oh shit. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so bad at conversions. Okay. So. Dude, this is my worst fucking nightmare, actually. You only have to pay 600. I know. Thank you so much. I'm just bad at math. What are you wanting to do? Because I'm. So it's 650? Yes. Okay, so 650, and I have. 30 platinum, 480 gold, and 85 silver. That was so much information, I didn't gather any of it. <laughs> I have 30, 650 is what I'm paying. Okay. I have 30 platinum, Yep. 480 gold, 85 okay. silver. I don't care about your silver. That's Amazing. Sick. Fuck the silver. So 30 platinum, 480 gold. Yeah. 780 gold. Elaborate. 30 platinum. 30 platinum. Is immediately 300 gold. Okay. 480 gold. Yeah. Plus 300. 780. Okay. Paying 750? 650. 650. Minus your 780 leaves you 130 gold pieces. 130 gold pieces. It's math day, guys. Oh my god, that hurts to look at. Okay. And you get both of them? Yeah! Oh, shit. We get the boots and the dog hide belt for you. 
Jamie is shrieking at spending money. That is a <laughs> horror for me. That is so much fucking money. Use it well, my friend. <laughs> okay, so what in all have we bought so far? The winged boots, dragon hide belts, amulet of the devout, uh, amulet of greater chances, and broom of flying. So all my expensive pieces. Thank you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. So what, sh- shorter question here. What's left? Uh, yeah, the pearl of power, the periot of wound closure, and the uh, bag of holding. Take a look at my money. Money, money, money. Okay, money. Mr. Krabs, calm down. <laughs> money. 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 Very active wound closure, you say? Very active wound closure, my friend. It is what does it do? It, uh. Well, you see. It closes any wound. When you wear this pendant and you are in a dying state, um, you can simply, uh, how you say, kind of like rolling a hit dice, and then you can use that to come back alive. Ah. Ah. <laughs> the way the uh, legendary hit dice. Uh, yes. Yeah. I have one tail of these. I do. Okay. I use those. You're full up on attainment. Yep. Where are you at? One... To it, to Words, what does that motherfucker. mean? <laughs> thoughts. Available? Used? Used, because the ring of evasion. And Thank you. 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 Where are your attunement slots at? Now, I think I'm at two if the belt requires attunement, which I have not found that out yet. I'm on the boots right yeah. now. I'm writing them down. I'm at two, saving the last one for whatever fucking shards. <laughs> <laughs> attunement, yes, attunement. Okay, yes, so I'm, I'm going to be at two once I... I'm not buying the parry up then. Very handy, but that is an attunement slot. Mm. So yeah, I will just buy that amulet. Oh, the devout? Yeah. Okay, 425. You already bought that, right? Yeah, I already bought that. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, hold on. Okay. Very well. Well, my friends, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Well, what is your group called? So I may remember you. The Rift Sinkers. Ah, yes, 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 Rift Sinkers. Thank you, thank you. Uh, old age. <laughs> yeah. All right, now it is time to get going. On to Lamplight. Very well, Rift Seekers. I hope to see you sometime soon. Safe travels. <laughs> you as well. All right, now Let's go. Um, you see um, the oars on the boat like shoot out and then on the ground and it begins walking on four different oars like this weird <laughs> wooden creature and it just oh my God, walks yes. away. That's okay. crazy. So as you guys turn around and continue heading north oh. with these new items that make you even stronger, that is where we'll end today's session. <laughs> Give me the details on my stuff. And so, the Rift Seekers were able to take out another of K6 homunculi, the ranger known as Tofnil Aerodrift. They found out that these things do not have a soul, yet they are very much alive. A strange and twisted creation that only a demented mind would construct. Our adventurers are now outfitted with many more magical items that will surely help them in their future endeavors. They still have some traveling to do, but soon our protagonists will be gazing out over the blue waters of the Sonoray Sea. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you want more, why not consider joining our Discord? There you can talk to the players of the campaign and be a part of our lovely community. Thank you again for listening, dear friend, and goodbye for now.